All right, test and test one, two, three. What's going on, fellow rogues? It's Mass Mayor here, and welcome in for episode three for Dragon's Dogma two. So, previous stream for this, things kind of got all to a rocky, st uh, rocky. Did I say rocky? It's rocky. Rough. That's the word. We got off to a rough start, considering the factor that um, I kept getting like you know, just beat down c consistently, you know, by basically every like little mob of goblins I came across. And thankfully, I found like a bit of a, cl a class that. Kind of worked for me a little bit while I got a few more levels on me. Um, we switched over from the uh, Thief class over to the Archer class. And that seemed to work pretty well. Plus, we kind of filled out the party with a couple more members. And that really helped. So, um, I kind of want to maybe switch back to the um, Thief class during the stream, maybe. Just to see if, like, I got enough, since I got more levels on me, that might help. But, at the same time, I'm also worried I'm just going to get beat down again. But, um, we'll see how things go. Um, but another thing that I kind of did also, guys, um, that I kind of figured out... In regards to something that also might have been a problem for me. Um, I'm also trying to dodge talking about that cheating ass Cyclops we dealt with. <laughs> but, um, so another thing I kind of like, you know, really kind of thought about that obviously was a problem was my encumbrance. The fact that I like, I had like so much weight on my character, you know, in regards to, like all the stuff I was carrying. And I think I might have figured out a means like to kind of get around that, at least, you know, in the early game. Cause what I read up on is that every five levels for one, you know, you do get like your, um, maximum amount you can carry is, you know, increased, you know, slightly and of course there's the golden beetles that we found that also can increase our um how much we can carry as well without you know being encumbered but one other thing i kind of thought about was you know i got all these items and what i could do is like craft them in the more you know it's in the more potent ver you know more potent like you know uh items and that would basically cut down on how much i'm carrying while also giving me like you know more potent versions of what i have so i mean and you know in some you know rpgs like i feel like you know there's times like what i've done i feel like others have probably done this as well like one thing is like a pretty good idea is to have like you know a lot of like you know a uh, particular item that you know like you know like basically have like you know higher quality of like items that may only heal you up a little bit but at least like kind of like you help you out with healing some to kind of like you know get you like through but that's the, usually at times where like it's a game that doesn't really have like an encumbrance system so with this game i feel like it's the whole sense of more potent items of a lesser you know i mean less items that are more potent so it doesn't weigh you down as much is of course going to be better in the long run than like having a whole bunch of items that you know heal you for less because yeah you know you can have like those items on backup 
But if you're weighing so much that, you know, you actually are constantly getting hit anyway, that's going to, like, you know, not really do much. You know, the whole point of, like, having, like, you know, le uh, less items that do more is being weighed down less, meaning, you know, there's more likelihood that you won't get hit because you have the stamina to get out of the way of stuff and everything. And plus, like, do more hits on things so they can probably take, you can take them down before you get winded. So, yeah, I'm going to start trying to make a habit of going in and combining my items and crafting new things. That way, um, I won't be carrying as much. So I also have a ring die equipped that's going to, like, you know, to kind of, like, you know, raise my um, maximum encumbrance a little bit as well. I think it was like raised, I think, about 10 kilograms. I can't remember. But the point is, is that um, it didn't really seem like it did a whole lot. It did, like, you know, take, like, you know, the weight down by, like, a couple of kilograms. But still, it's better than nothing. And once it, I get, like, you know, leveled up more, um, eventually it's not really going to matter as much. I'll probably be able to carry a whole lot more stuff. Uh, but the very, but for now, I definitely need to kind of, like, you know, really, like, you know, kind of go in and take time to go and do comp combining for my items. Like, drop off stuff I don't need so that way I can be, like, as, as effective in combat as I can be. So anyways, that, with that said, we're going to you know, jump on into this. Uh, we got a pretty long you know, journey ahead of us and the fact that we're going to be trying to get to the next major area, I suppose. But overall, it's just like a nice little, uh, like a little idea I've kind of like, you know, come up with in regards to like, you know, how I'm going to try to like balance things out. Because um, you guys saw that when I you know, stopped the stream previously, I think I was like around he at the heavy or I might have been the average average range. But I was like boring on heavy because I did equip the ring. Shut up. Um, but we go in here, you see that um, I combined all this stuff. All right, well, hold on a second. All right, yeah, that's right, because I got some of this. Uh, I got some of this from um, Fiona and everything. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just wondering if all this stuff like rotted while it was in my inventory. I swear it did. Like, is it possible this stuff can actually rot in real time? Like, you know, when you're not on the game game. So that's kind of screwed up. Because like, I swear this stuff like you know wasn't rotten before. So yeah, um, one thing I found right here that de I definitely want to start making more of. I got seven of these. Is the mighty rubrant. So what this does is a pellet with impressive medical properties, restores a great deal of health and stamina when consumed. Um, I can't. I think like what I actually did was I believe I used, what did I use to make that? I want to say that it may have been like, you know, a fruit rubricant and um, one of these. Well, no, like, let me uh, check and see the com combinations here. Um, see if it actually will show me. Use recipe. I'm going to see if I can find like the listing for it. Turn this up just a little bit as well. I mean, I want to, like, see where it was so I can show you guys exactly what I did. I mean, there's obviously all these dried fruit combinations. Mighty Rubrant. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, it was with cinnamon bark. So using fruit uh, rubrant and cinnamon bark, you can make this with that. You also can use, like, you know, mincemeat, roe rubrant, and horsebud, you know, rubrant. So, yeah, it's it's definitely, you know, a pretty, you know, beastly thing right there. It makes you think of, like, maybe, like, the maybe possibly, like, something like uh, maybe a little similar to the hearts, like the horsebud sauce or at least horsebud juice from the first game. But also we're gonna be finding like you know more stuff aside from this as well. But I also want to turn off my, my scare counter. Pretty sure you guys like people probably you know wonder if I was gonna notice it. I noticed it that time. It just took me a little bit. All right. So at least I got a kind of an idea on how to like you know make my things a little more balanced for me. Um, but I know it's not gonna be an end all beat all. I still gotta like you know get better with the combat. Yeah, we're gonna go and speak to Sir Gregor since he's been on my ass about like talking to him. I know the person you're looking for. He's literally right over here. Show. Now we shan't lose our way. We're in a small town, Fiona. Like, it's, he's right here. I literally know where he is, because this guy, like, you know, has been, like, on me every time I try to, like, you know, leave town to go somewhere. I know where he is. I just don't know how I feel about leaving at night, so we're going to leave in the morning. Thinking about it. Probably would not be the best idea to, like, leave right now. We run everywhere. You are an impatient one, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up. Though we are less fleet of foot. Lawrence, if you don't like it, you know, you can... <laughs> oh, what does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. There's a reason I'm in a hurry, right? I'm trying to get back to doing what I need to do. Why is he glowing? Oh. I said, did he leave? I thought for a second Lawrence left. I didn't know who went through that portal, or... All right, let's see, this should be the end. Is this the end right here? And that's the apothecary. This is the end. I honestly thought that Lawrence just left. Turn this a little more. Looks like I get these levels properly. We also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. 
Did you need something? I'm gonna like actually go and try to switch back to the other one for now. Cause we got the archer at level three, but I do want to like work on my thief one a little bit too. And I do need to like, you know, get like the other daggers as well. That's right. I got like the other daggers I can pick up. So we're going to do that. It might be because I turned the in-game volume down. I can't remember if I did that or not. Because the volume does sound like a little bit low still. Eventually, it would be nice to have that. Increased likelihood of being targeted. And at least, you know, Ambuscade carries over as well. So at least like some of the, uh, some of the um, um, augments do carry over between... Um, here we're between, so that's good. Let me see. That's all we got right now. We don't have like a fourth attack. Helm Splitter is definitely gonna help. That was like one of my main go tos in the first game. I'm having to feel we'll be able to like probably like you know uh, set it up, you know, you know, uh, move it up to like Brain Splitter. Right now we want to rest. Actually. I can go ahead and rest for free. What are you, what are you talking about? Come again. There'll probably be a chair out here. I can, Suited to bolstering our band where reinforcement is most needed. Yeah, let me out. Find hard I'm gonna see if I can find like a chair to sleep. I like a bench to sleep on. I know I saw one somewhere. Hello? Well, are, is it turning daytime? Or I can't tell. I think it's already turning daytime, so I don't need to sleep. Actually, I do because my health is trash right now. Trying to find somewhere where I can, like, you know, because I know the. It's not a. What's the rush? Tell us about me being in a hurry. Lawrence is all over the place here. Um. I might have to rest in the end. So I know there was a bench, like, you know, one of the other towns, but they may not have one here. It'd be kind of irrelevant, like, for them to put a bench somewhere when they got a, when they got an inn nearby. Doesn't want to get the show on the road. See, that's the thing, though. I definitely need to find bins. I need those blades. I'm hoping I can still afford them. Forgot all about that. I said I want to buy these. You know, buy. Our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. Well met, sir. How much? All right. Let me see. Please tell me I can like you know afford it. Throat cutters. I can afford it. Hang on a second. Do I have? Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Making sure. So be of service. And I can sell him like stuff we don't need here. We can't hurt to get you know just sell the stuff and get like a little bit more out of it. Kind of funny, you know, I'm right here just selling him, selling him like you know rotten stuff, and he's just taking it. All right, let's see what else can we get rid of. Um, definitely didn't get my secret token. I think it's 280 for Kateria. I right, know the Lupine bowl, uh, bowl bow is like the one I'm using for the class. Um, this one is actually equipped. The hide cape, though, I got rid. I took that off. So maybe I never. Hold on a second. That's weird. So what? I can swear that's the one I upgraded to. Whatever. I'll, I'll look into it next time I um. You know, switch over. Do come again. And how much? Well, we got like enough the rest at the end. So enjoy stocking up on supplies. We ought to have enough supplies to last us but a while now. we don't need to because it's daytime. A 
What the hell? Hold on a second. Why is this guy down here? I'm just curious. This guy seems a little sus. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Ow. Well, that just sucked. Normally I fall from like uh, heights like that or whatever, it ain't no problem. Materials. Different combinations of materials result. Probably could just went around that. Would, yeah, that would have been better to do. Could just like went around than the normal thing, like normal people would do. Yeah, I just can't wait to get to the next. Get to like the actual main town. Would you mind coming over here? No, I'm going over here. All right, Sir Gregor, I'm ready to go, finally. I'm Let's talking to you first. We must leave anon. Good. Then let us be on our way. Yeah, because you've been harking on it like all this time. It's not a race, buddy. Does he not know? I'm to say, you do realize you're the guide, right? Different masters favor different forms. One whom I serve. Prefer to have beastrums for allies. Each to their own. This is gonna be a long trip. It's gonna be such a long trip. I have a feeling. Hang on. Uh oh. is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title is to claim the throne. Yet, not all claims are true. Before we continue, let me check this. Uh, Did I change the volume of this? No, I didn't change the volume. Try to make sure you guys can hear it. Sees many pretenders, and they are not dealt with lightly. Best hope you're not one of them. Regardless, we would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We're good. Your stupid shield. Oh, so that's what this was for. Okay. Because previously we couldn't get through here. Oh, here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. You better. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? We met yesterday. An arisen, by all appearances. Oh, it's, it's by all appearances, huh? An arisen. Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's Ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. I cannot wait to actually prove you wrong. So you're going to be sitting here at your gate, like, realizing that like, since I ruled the country, I could fire your ass at any time I want? It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. Someone sounds like he might be a little bit worried about, like, saying the wrong thing. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, if I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the captain. Translation, shut up. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? If the, if the claim is true, you're on, you know, you're on thin ice, buddy. Crossing the line. Stuck in the mustard and you can't catch up. You're all my Kool-Aid and you don't know the flavor. Let us pass through the gate. I'm watching you. What was his name again? 
I think I remember his name. What was your name again? Just so I can like, you know, make sure I call the 1-800 number on you. Yeah, Stanley. No, I'm not saying, no, I'll handle it myself and show you how much of a badass I am compared to you. One should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way. We must each of us Unless the Cyclops. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Then a jackass of all trades is a master of getting his ass whooped. So, I mean, I would know. I mean, that's, that's the level of my character is at currently. Ah, I'll take that. Of course you would. Find a use for it. You know, well, I'll take this. I swear our group multiplied. Were these guys with us when we left? Hang on, boys. Hold on a second. An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet it is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. Well, I get feeling it might end up being Cyclops or Ogre food. Which kind of sucks, because, I mean, this... There's a lot of tension on this little walk. Yeah, and, like, the, and the little, you know, the scarabs definitely add up. I think it's a neat little collectible at the very least. Oh, what that? Kratos, if you don't back up, or Lawrence says, you know, he's been called. Hang on. You know, I. I suppose there can be no harm in oh, okay. It will find a use for it. We got we completed uh, Lawrence's quest. Awesomeness. I need to set one for my pawn for people. I don't know what I can offer them because I don't really have a whole lot just yet, but. I kind of wanted to wait until I, you know, properly, you know, got further along so I can get them better rewards. But I do like the idea that, you know, where you can, like, set, like, a quest with your pawn, so it basically encourage people to continue to use it, but also reward them for doing so. Exquisite dried meat. I mean, yeah, they're already having bad enough luck, you know, with their ox cart not being here. Well, let's just rob them. Or, you know, help them share, I guess you can say. Bulgarus Lord. I don't know. It looks like there's... Might be something behind that waterfall. And there's a place to camp right there. More camping equipment, which is awesome. Hey, y'all hold up, all right? I'm not done exploring. You good, man? Isn't my way to gossip with the citizenry. What's your name again? Ulfren. And talking down to your king, once I prove that that's actually what I am, I'm, I'm sovereign-like and everything, is a good way to get yourself, well, just a little bit less armored. Because I'll, I'll, I'll fire you. Just, just you wait. You know, it's just the level of disrespect everyone's showing me because I'm like, it's like, oh, well, our sovereign's in the capital, so... I mean, y'all do realize that there's conspiracy going. Well, of course they don't. They're probably getting paid to like keep their mouths shut. I don't want to be conspired against here. But oh no, everyone just has that like you know, hey, little short ass arisen or whatever. Like you know, just I mean, that's the other thing too. I gotta do something about my character's height. It's bad when my pawn's taller than me. I swear it looks like a big ass egg over there or something. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say? It's about time that, you know, you go and, like, and give, like, some lessons about being godly to your boy, Lawrence. Timu Kratos? Shush. Like, why is everyone being so sad? Oh, shit. Well, so much for that. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine looks... I'm just gonna get right on back on out of there. As your pack becomes heavier, so too does your step. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm completely aware. Hey Lawrence, carry that. So you're gonna you know get about run your mouth where I see about you know you run those leg muscles. So that's thing, we don't have to actually take it out of the kit or like you know from their inventory. 
See, look at that. We have ourselves a nice little family meeting right here, like a little family dinner. And I don't want to hear any back sass out of you, Lawrence. You're going to eat this food, and you're going to like it. And watch this. I'm going to show y'all, like, how to make, you know, some just amazing ass, like, you know, I'm going to draw some mad, like, you know, kitchen science on y'all. Squid the dried meat, a piece of meat from a red bean. dry to condense its flavor. Oh, yeah? Well, watch what I can do. I'm going to serve y'all like a, a steak like no other. Damn, that does look good, though. Yeah, and Lawrence, you're, I made yours well done. You're trying to be all tough and everything. Let's see how, how you know good your teeth are for that. Now, I'm going to sleep. You know, y'all can do whatever you want to do. I need to rest up. I'm going to take no sass from you. Our adventure continues. I said, take that, you can take that sass and, oh yeah, totally, I'm good to go. It's just the amount of sass, like, Lawrence has, like, gotten tow or whatever, I mean, definitely, you know, probably, I mean, I know I haven't really, like, list, enlisted any other pawns, but even compared, like, when I played, like, Dragon's Dogma 2, he definitely is probably, like, one of my favorites. Like, you know, the person that made him, Yeah. Well, that just, um, okay. Um, that's not normal. Is everyone all right? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, it's just our eardrums that got, uh, destroyed. I mean, that guy over there's had a bad time with that goblin. We'll get over there in a second, hopefully. Okay, that guy, all right, come on, fight back. You're not gonna let that goblin beat your ass. Look at you, getting bopped. <laughs> just, I'm just seeing everything going on in the background. This guy getting his ass kicked by a goblin. <laughs> I can't talk, but... <laughs> Hold on, I'm watching the show right here. In the background. Oh, I saw that guy just bust his ass. Did he kill the goblin? Did he get it? All right, let, just at least we can get over there and help him if needed. Marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth. I don't know if that was a dragon. That seemed like that might have been like something else causing it. As long as Adam Mentoy ain't over here. I haven't got that point in Final Fantasy 15, but yeah. I, I, I'm the leader here. I, I'm the captain. Get your... Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. He'll be alright. He'll be back in just a few seconds. See, there he is. Oh, no, no, none the worse for wear. He's still right. You know, fine, whatever. Need help? Oh wow, they really put a lot of finesse into uh, Helm sl uh, into uh, Helm Slitter, a, a splitter. I love how it looks in this one. Let's do that again. I like that. I love that. Thank you, Fiona. How the tides have turned, boys. All I need was just a few more moves and bam, you know, I've kind of got a little something going for me. Okay, and there's, alright, there's, um, Scarlet Kisses or whatever. And that's just the base level, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to upload, uh, like, you know, turn in the Skull Splitter and, um, Brain Splitter. Because in the first Dragon's Dogma, you know, there was like a three-stage thing. You could increase the power of it. The one I was always using, like whenever I played, was... Um... Wow, I mean, you just... That, that, that felt personal. But I'm the one that's had to deal with, like, you know, them killing me constantly in the last stream. It's more personal to me. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Oh, uh-uh. Shut up. Get your own goblin. Make sure they were actually dead. Yeah, because you didn't even fight. You you, ha you hung back there. 
Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. He's better mouthing off and he didn't even do anything. At least not that time. Okay, we don't want to fall down there. Right. Can't hurt to keep on like, you know, checking. Okay, yeah, it's still gonna be a problem. Yeah, just for clarification, I'm not totally defenseless against you creeps now. Problem is, it's still ain't gonna be a good class for fighting uh, harpies, not yet. Location rank up at least. So this still isn't gonna be the best for fighting um, harpies. That's the only problem. Try to break his sh All right, there we go. Open up. Come on. All it took was a few levels and a few more moves, and I'm actually kind of wrecking them a little bit now. Still, like, you know, don't want to get ahead of myself because things are still dangerous. I'm doing better than I was. All right. So what were you guys guarding up here? Eye. Yeah, I know. Why I shall never tire of our adventures. Okay, well, was that sarcasm or are you actually being serious there, Lawrence? <laughs> I can't tell with him. I mean, I cannot handle sassy-ass Kratos now. It's like, yes, I travel this Arisen. If he has as much, you know, a finesse for, uh, for fighting as he did for fashion. Like, just shut up. I mean. All right, this actually isn't as good. Stats stay the same. It gives me, like, elemental resistance to, uh, to um, freezing. But otherwise, it takes away the other ones I got. So I'm going to keep this one. I mean, really, Lawrence? Um, just mainly just kind of like exploring around, just trying to see what else is over here before we continue on. I mean, obviously, I think I know what the main path is, but. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. All right, Barbara did a good job on you, but. We got our own thing to do. Water is seeping through the cracks. What am I hearing? You know what? I've had just about enough of these guys. You said water is seeping through the cracks, Fiona? All right, cool. I did not expect that to work. I'll show you, Tubby. Had enough of these guys. have a worse one than it was I'm done whoa okay that works for me yo mono vision you got something in your eye when I get over there 
And that, and that, and that, and that. I'm working on it. Hang on, hold on, he's... Not the rock. Yeah, if you're talking about his ass, Lawrence, where you really need to get some better standards. We... Killed our first Cyclops in this game. Oh, after everything I dealt with, this, with the Cyclops yesterday, I was so satisfied, especially since I was struggling so much with this class pre previously. But I love how they upgraded. Hold up. Let me see. I do like how, like, you know, the way um, Helm Splitter works now is really cool. Because in the first game, you know, when you use it, like, when you were mounting an enemy, you just, like, jumped off them. But I like how in this one, you can use it and then, like, you know, land right back on top of them again. It's really cool how they upgraded that. So the combat's like more refined, refined, refined. Definitely still things I'm getting used to. But yeah, um, that was, yeah, I'm trying to like get a good picture of like <laughs> where we're standing. I was thinking that like, hang on, I'm Captain John Morgan's or something. All right. The only thing is the uh, hold up, death of field. I was gonna take a picture or whatever, but yeah, it seems like this is like very, it's kind of a bit of a basic, um, yeah, it's whatever. I'm just happy I killed this thing. Place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Oh, for sure. This we got like a whole lot from him, but hey, you know, I got my first win on a Cyclops. But it's just what was really hilarious. Cause I didn't, cause he gonna be sleeping inside. He hatched out of a rock like his ass was born, like he was inside of an egg. So what if that actually ends up being like some actual lore, like that? You know, in the Dragon's Dogma universe, is Cyclops is hatch out of boulders. It's gonna be like where every boulder we come across now. But I did like, you know, thankfully Fiona did point that out. It started off. I was like, okay, you know, I've had enough of this, so I went over there and did that. But what I do really dig right here also is the effect of this. In the first game. I guess that's is I don't know if it's decomposing, but it kind of does look like it might be. So if it's actually like a slow decomposition over time in this one compared to the first game where like they just disappear after a while, that's really neat. But it may just be like the battle damage of it. But I'm kind of like looking right here where you see like, you know, that's a pretty nice touch there where you see like the um, fluids on the ground. Now, if they're actually trying to say it's decomposing right here, I mean, that's kind of neat. Really, no. You mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> Lawrence is sass, I swear. This, this is made for a good picture. Man, that's not how it works. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, that's how you take the screenshot. There we go. Yeah, he's so sassy. Like his um, I don't know how much depth like you guys should go into in regards like you know how you can like set their personality or whatever. But his um, the person, the player who created him did a did a great job. I love it. I think like it's basically probably like just based around like how they're um, because with Fiona I only had like the whole clever thing, so I'm thinking like it matches like whatever voice or whatever their demeanor is. But still, you know, he just I'm well aware, I'm well aware of that. It's like the way he talks, it makes me think of like he looks like a master. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure we can reach you just fine with your ego, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence, why don't you go in there first? It's like he's a mix between like Kratos and Sean Connery or something. His accent kind of makes me think of like slightly a Sean Connery. But just the level of sass with him. Okay, we got... Um, let's go and activate this. I'm just going to do, do so.
Thing in yeah, so there's, there's harpies right over here. He's talking about, like throwing like waking powder at a harpy or something. Problem is, I'm a little encumbered again, so let me go ahead and do something about this. Mm. Oh, we got a misshapen eye from it. Okay. I didn't notice we got a misshapen eye. So we did get more from it than what I thought. So I said, the whole camping thing, I mean, we already got a couple, but again, there's a possibility of them getting, being broken. So we're going to let Lawrence hand, carry this one as well. So there's something up here. I think. It might be up there. So I might, I don't think I can get there. I can try. Yeah, we're not getting up there. He says something about a ladder somewhere. Ah, uh, right. So how the hell are we going to get that down? We don't have anyone in the party that has like, you know, uh, there's something I can throw at it, which I don't think I've got. But yeah, now that I've kind of like got a few more levels on me and I got like a few moves, it's kind of like made like, you know, the thief class a little bit easier to utilize. So, and you know, and the fact I was able to take on that Cyclops with it. But also we had like, again, we had a full party this time. And it might have been the fact that we had like, you know. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. What's the catch? You're being less sassy than normal. I grabbed your weapon and Oh! I was not planning to counter that. That was beautiful. Well, that went south. That took away one of my favorite exploits from the first game. So, in the first game, I would like, you know, at times jump off an edge with like, you know, doing that. And it actually wouldn't make, it cause it make it worry. No matter where you fell from, you didn't take fall damage. Obviously, we can't do that anymore. That's like probably the most, one of the most embarrassing deaths I've had in this game because that was my fault technically. But I did like that little counter I did. I mean, it was completely accidental, but that was really cool. I first ever used that move or whatever, and it was a pretty bitch encounter. Or a pretty, a, a pretty bitch encounter with a bitch I encountered. Because these things are, you know. Okay, now that time shouldn't even count it. Thank you very much. Ouch. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. So my guess is the way this works is go to items menu, lantern, where I'm thinking like horse bud. Like the one below is probably for stamina and the top one's for health. So if they actually did like that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna shut that up right now. Nice catch, Lawrence. Fiona just roasted her. That was nasty. Eventually, I'm probably going to switch out uh, show, though. Like, Lawrence, I'm probably going to keep around for a little bit longer. I like him. He definitely brings, like, you know, a nice little bit of flair to the party. But show, I'm probably going to switch out at some point because he's, like, you know, was an early level pawn. And he's been helping or whatever, but... I don't know where the hell. I'm hoping we didn't like mess up the story. I had a feeling that Sir Gregor must have like uh, uh, must be hanging pa hanging back. He's probably like way back on the main path. Oh, another beetle. It's always nice to have these. I like how they're big enough where you can easily see them. You just gotta like look. 
I've a modest talent for spotting materials that can be used to enhance your equipment. I can even mark them on your. As a matter of fact. Oh boy, here we go. Do we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot? I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. I'll use the bug in just a sec. Oh, let me go ahead and do it now. And what's cool about it, what I just noticed, Fiona's also went down. It did say that, like, you know, the, the pawns can benefit, but I didn't know that's what they meant. I thought you had to, like, use it on Fiona, uh, different, uh, like, you know, individually. But, yeah, her, um, her encumbrance just went down slightly, too. I noticed it. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. We'll see about that, Angus. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we got just enough to get it. It gives me some elemental resistance for cut for like you know frost and uh lightning. Magic defense, defense is up. Not down resistance goes up by one. But is it worth that much? I mean, it can't hurt. It's a it's a decent bu uh, boost to uh, defense. I'll get it. Okay, I think we got this too. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of that or not. Hope to see you again, eh, Long. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. We ought to have enough supplies to last us a while now. You have my support. Since letting the enemy gain the upper hand, early Griffin is the world. I grant you more in flame. God, it feels good to finally, you know, you know, actually stand up these creeps. <laughs> He's got to know how many times I've got my ass kicked. Fiona, let the guy cook. Trust me, I, I mean, I feel like bragging. Again, these boys have it coming. Get off my stage. There's a picture of you actually shot the bridge from up here and just whoa. Okay, that was all steep. <laughs> I think the game's like he's getting too good. Quick, kill him. No harm in picking a few. I got a point because you know the Okay. I have no idea what like where we're going, but what's going on ladies? Yeah, you gotta try to ambush this? Whoa! Sun did a big boom boom down here though. Yeah, I think like the audio is desynced again. 
It, it likes to do that. Yeah, exploration in this is like it's got a lot more fun now that I'm not getting beat down every two seconds. But still, I mean, obviously, I don't want to like, you know, get too... What boulder? What are you talking about? What boulder? I don't see no boulder. Where? I mean, I, I see something else other than a boulder, though. Oh, I see some shinies. I see some treasure. And as a thief, you know, it is my, you know, sworn duty to relinquish this from its wooden trappings. Come to think of it, Don't think at all. Different masters favor different pawns. Oh, that's nice. To have beast rooms for well, there goes the boulder. Each to their own. It's carrying on like, you know, like a primitive katamari. I mean, they were talking about that boulder. Hold on. It says, like, have we been this way? Trying, trying to see here. This looks scalable. No, it's not. Probably, I, mean, I doubt it, but I don't think we can get up there. It's saying there's a point of it's something nearby. Hold on. It says over here. Hmm. It looks breakable. Can we break it? It does look pretty sus, but I don't think we can do anything with it. Have you forgotten something? Shut up. You're looking rather lost. You know, if you're lost, if we're lost or whatever, I mean, you're like on this tr on this road with me, dude. So, what's that say about you? I swear, you know, his sass is noted, but not appreciated. He's like, <laughs> well, I might know which way to go, Arisen, you know, but you can only ask. It's like, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like for me to depend on you. Is it this? Oh, there's definitely something higher up as well. Oh, yeah, there is a cave. You called it. I was like, well, Horizon, I already knew the cave was there. I just wanted to see if you could figure it out. That's... Our first time setting foot in this place, but I trust we'll muddle through. Well, I thought that you would have found this place already. Is a strange sort that ventures willingly into darkness. And what's that say about you? Anything? You're second in line. I swear, Lawrence. We got here silver or oh copper silver that was like you know gave me more than like the pre I don't know I can't remember if we got like two or three or one or three from the um the first uh vein that I or that I mined dried meat question is is there, is there anything in here with us Probably prescribed tranquility. Hold up, shush. Let me check on Lawrence. Towering Earth. All right, Fulminous Shield. We still don't have the one she needed. We're gonna get those to her eventually. For the Arisen to decide. Really? I thought this was your adventure, Lawrence. Prescribed tranquility again. Oh, sh what is in here with us? Hmm. 
Saurians. Okay, I'm trying to heal here and they're not letting me. Okay, that's bullshit. I hate how they stun lock you. That's the only thing irritating me about that. Like when they can stun lock you, like you're trying to heal and. Okay, so these guys are about to find out. And they're gonna throw me right back in. Okay, game. It's the fact they threw me in right there when this thing was in the middle of the tank. Now it was like a bullshit um, reload. So now we got like, you know, upgrade from like, you know, all right, so I'm able to kill goblins just fine now, but these things right here are now what I need to upgrade to be able to slay, you know, normally. You know, they only knew how many of them I've killed in the first game. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Sure, let's spawn another one in. Why not? Oh my god. So this is another area that we're gonna have to come back to, because lo and behold. And it feels like, you know. The other pawns don't seem like they're backing me up as much. The Saurian's absolute pain this early in the game. Oh, wow. Camera angles are trash too. That'll teach your ass a lesson. It's not that fun when you get divided and conquered, don't you think? And when that tail comes off, you guys don't can't fight as well. Now the hell will come back later. We're doing this now. You apparently don't like realize what just happened to your friends right there, but you're about to find out. Doing well, and then suddenly Buddy Boy right there. You know, it's because I helped my health got drained so quickly because of the cheap deaths. And now they're probably back now, too. I'm determined to see what else is in this cave before we leave, though. Because now I've got less health, I'm sure. Oh my, okay, that is it. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, you know, these camera angles don't help either. <sighs> wow. Things were going well when we killed those other two or whatever, and now it's like it's just went downhill. All right, we just got to get that one shot, you know, get them down, you know, get get them separated. I mean, it doesn't help that the other pawns don't come out there and actually you know, try to, like, you know, help me with them. Oh, now what in that? Okay, that is it. It didn't seem like it was attacking that time. I mean, like, what frustrates is I went up there like the stars. I thought that the pawns were gonna be right behind me, but they stayed down below. It seemed like. There's reason like I'm not like a fan of the whole like you know law system in this game. The first game did just fine without it. I don't know why they wanted to add it in here, like, cause they want to try to make it like so much like Dark Souls. But it's just you know irritating, you know, when things have all this reach, they do. All this damage. It's nice of you to finally like take some initiative there, show. I wonder how tough you guys are gonna be so uh, how tough you're gonna be when I come back through here, you know, much more leveled up if I can't do this now. Just really irritating, you know, because one of the things that really affected me was the fact that like right when I spawned back in, they had that thing right there and immediately killed me again. The fact they put like my save like right here, you know, where I'm gonna see what's in here. I grant you roaring flames. No penancy ain't gonna do it. I know it ain't gonna help, but yeah, see, it's not gonna help me. Now, what in the hell was that, man? It's like, oh, you're doing all these attacks. Like, bam, just kicks you. I'm going to go out here and see if there's a fire. Uh, there's a camp nearby, and then I'm going to come back. I'm hoping, because I'm chances are they probably just took all my stuff from me right there. They couldn't stand for me to take this stuff or whatever, so they wanted, like, you know, of course, the, um... Oh, they can do a save just fine where I'm, like, right where I'm about to get jumped. No, we're not accepting this loss. I'm gonna go out here, see if there's a spot where I can, uh, where we can camp, and I'm coming back. They're not getting away with this. 
So it's like probably like one of the few. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. You really want to say that's not what I'm concerned about right now. Only thing I'm wanting to harvest is you know harvest is their is their souls. <laughs> it's a little dark, but you get the drift. An astounding discovery. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. The chance you'd like to see it? First things first. There's something else I'd like to see more than anything. Those things getting their, own, their comeuppance. I swear that's actually real food. But they took like a picture of like a really, you know, no fancy, uh, fancy camera. To get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. All right, boys. Should you need to communicate in Elvish, pray call upon me. I good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. You got that right. Putting that aside, off do we call on you to carry the burdens we cannot. First things first, do some more combining. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. Hang in there, master. I am coming to assist. I'm good. These guys in here, though, might be about to be a different story. If I have my way. Come on down here. It's really easy when you got your stupid stick, huh?
I said we were gonna come back for you creeps. Now we know there's one of you left. We're going after him too. Welcome in, Sammy. We're not done with him yet. We still. Confidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. A tough guy. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Now that's what you boys get for, you know, doing what you did to me. Go to sleep. Oh, Lawrence found another one. Not this time. You know what? Your friends did the same thing, and look what happened to them. Yeah, it's not him you need to worry about. Yep, he needed a nap. Now I'm gonna take, I said I was gonna come back and, you know, get my revenge. Ah, that's exactly what they get. One never can have too many of these. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Stupid. An unlikely location for a path. Mayhap it leads to a hidden hoard of mm, Take your fish too. Hey, keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. This is fished. Is there a big one in here? So there's more of them, it sounds like. Water is um, that thing sounds... What is that up there? It sounds big. I think I know that growl. I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not... Oh, that's a fucking ogre. Scale brand. Okay, I'm gonna have to prep against this guy. And we're gonna fight him. Just hoping that, you know, I ain't gonna regret doing this. 82. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about wearing this, but because I gotta look at this guy's ugly face. Um, let's see. I friggin' hate it. It's gonna give me a little bit of a boost for right now. I'm gonna wear whatever I have to, but. Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. A potato? You wanted a potato? I know what to get you for Christmas. I wonder if he's like, you know, related to Sasha from uh, Attack on Titan. So we got an issue. Oh, crap, I can't take it over there with me. And I throw this thing, it's gonna blow up. Come on, come, on, come on, get up there. Ah, shit. I can't climb. Oh, my God. Well. I still hear... All right, so he's still around. I think he's still fighting the other guy in there. Oh, yeah, he's having a bad day. Whoa! 
Oh! Alright then, that's the way you wanna play it? Fine! Who you think you drive? Ow, shit, shit. That could've went a lot better. No, he's gonna make me mad. You, who do you think you're dri- Really? I'm working on it, Lawrence. Oh, she's butt stomping. What the hell is on the- Oh, crap. So they can climb now. I get the high ground on him. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. I ain't stupid. But you're pretty damn idiot. You think I'm actually gonna sit there and let you hit me? I definitely don't want like, to be on the receiving one of those drop kicks, though. Come on. Wait for it. Yeah, come on and get me, ugly. I'm gonna get you first. Appreciate it, but the... Yeah, right in your ass. Game, set, and match. Oh, he's ended all right. Stab him right in his ass. I wonder if the, the thing about it is, it's funny because the first time I fought an ogre in the first Dragon's Dogma, it kicked my ass like several times before I finally beat it. And that time I just like, yeah, we destroyed that guy. I mean, he was tough, but it also I think it's because the fact that whatever that the adventurer was he was fighting earlier, whoever was he was fighting earlier, like whittled him down for us some. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say? Look here, Lawrence. I would like to say, Lawrence, that we just had a very hero encounter with an ogre who got shracked. Indulge a little bit, all right? You know, we deserve a little bit of a break. Ah, you, you an ugly ass. Um, I suspect that is something best left alone. Yeah, look, you had a rot. Whoa! One never can be too cautious. I think they're trying to mock me up in here. We've been down here before? Oh, well, that's always nice to have. One of y'all open it first. Might be a mimic. Well, whatever. Okay, I guess not a mimic. I don't know if they would have put mimics in the base game of this because they were in uh, Dark Arisen. We never like open chests like, you know, in um, the Dark Arisen content of the first game. Okay, but yeah. And if they actually, you know, kind of stuck true to how the ogres normally act or what, like, would act in the first game, they um, will actually um, get riled up if you have female party members. And they recall, like, you know, their butts will actually, you know, glow, will glow red. But some masters rearrange their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Yeah, well, guess what, Lawrence? I'm not wearing a hat. This guy looks sus. Oh, you were welcome to try, buddy. Yes, so are we. <laughs> Someone just had a bad day. Oh my God. I like how we all just mobbed his ass. Gladly. Nice kick. I'm more agile, though. And she's gone. Oh, 
flawless execution. I mean, I did get hit. The same result with our next attack. What? They weren't guarding anything? These are like the worst bandits ever. You know, technically you guys are supposed to like guard something. Like, actually... First thing again, I mean... Who am I to judge? I mean, I got my ass kicked by a bunch of goblins before I got this far. And we're slowly upgrading our, you know, selves, you know, story and threat level. Okay, let's see what else there is in this cake, because we do need to get... Wear every shadow. And mind the ceiling. What? Oh. It was but a trick of the light. See, you're scaring the hell out of Lawrence, Fiona. It does have me wonder if there actually might be giant spiders in this game. Because the first game had spiders that were like dog size, but they weren't really threats. They were just like, oh, whoa, shit. See, that could have been bad. I got, I panicked a little bit there. This area is definitely sprawling. All right, let's see. We came in through here. All right, let's make sure we cut. Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall yeah. I see if there's ought to be found? Good thing he said that. Then I wouldn't get that that soaring tail before. Okay. Is there a sun up here? Nope. Let's make sure we've got everything because I don't want to come back here. This place sucked. Or, I mean, at least the Saurian part of it sucked. I mean, the, the ogre, you know, it almost like, you know, Falcon kicked my face off, which was kind of hilarious. Yeah, we never went up this way, did we? I don't think we did. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I gladly see you put what I find to good use. So just a random dead end. There's nothing here. That was odd. Also, I haven't seen Mega Mind. I need to. Cause I don't know what the highlight of this stream, this stream tonight so far has been. I mean, the ogre was kind of funny. I'll hold on to this. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. No, your ass is just like you know, still being a klepto like in the last game, Fiona. Um. So let's look at this. It does like it's decomposing. Yes, apparently they do just decompose slowly over time compared to the previous game. Because in the previous game they just turned to like a bunch of like mush. You know, like really quickly, like they melted right in front of you. But if that's like, you know, decomposing, you're hearing flies here. That's a really nice touch that it's doing over time. All right, I think we're done here with this cave. We really do need to get back on the main track, main path. Says that, and he's going to walk right up to the dead end. But yeah, um, I want to say, I think, like, one of the highlights of the stream was, like, you know, us killing the Cyclops after everything that happened previously. Namely, in the sense of how I took it down. That could have been bad. Or what helped take it down. In regards to me, like, you know, flood, because I was like, all right, it's like, I've had enough of this. And I just, like, you know, threw a rock at the wall. <laughs> and I flooded, flooded the area. There will be monsters lurking beyond it. What hidden path are you talking about? about you. We needn't go barging in. Hidden path? Lawrence, what are you talking about? I don't see no hidden path. Fiona, what are you doing? Fish? Oh, oh, oh y'all trying to bait my ass. Y'all trying to get me to go. Y'all trying to get me to go out there and get brined. Lawrence, I see no hidden path. What are you talking about? I, mean, I think we've done just about everything else there is to do here. I mean, maybe it was a hidden path or whatever, but I mean, maybe, just maybe. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, right. Can't have any of that. You aren't the father.
Yeah, no omelette du fromage. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. You guys do realize we've already completed this area, right? That could have been like advice you could have like said when we first came in. Way to pull like, you know, Leslie Nielsen there. I just want to say good luck. We're all counting on, you know, after the movie's based on what over, pretty much. Look, I got my revenge. I'm cool. I'm fine. All right. Let's see what we got right here for the map. Where we be? I mean, I just, God, when we get over there, though. Whew, that's going to be a lot of... They did say the map was bigger, but I'm honestly dreading how big this is. Let's see. Uh, she got the reference, though. So that's the thing. That's where we need to be. We need to be back over there. <laughs> we went well off the main path. All right. The weird thing is, I sent his way into the ca uh, cavern for second over there. All right, let's. Yeah. Well, problem is, like you know, Greg, uh, Gregor or whatever. He's like waiting for us. And last thing is him on me, like trying to like you know interrupt me like he was yesterday. It just showed like their little icons just jumped on ahead. Wait a minute, is that another? Okay, that's another spot down there, but I ain't jumping down that. All right, team. Try to get back on track. We had a little fun, like a little bit of fun right there, but we need to try to get back to the. I don't know. I really am curious about what's what's down there. God, this game's bad for ADHD. But there's no way down there. No safe way. I mean, does I have? Well, well, I guess we're going. No, no. Ah, shit. I'm. The freaking physics. You get close to an edge, they just throw your ass off. That's not even fair. <laughs> I win. I just, I just didn't survive the fall. I would laugh if they actually respawned me down here, but I know they're not going to do that. Well, I mean, at least they put me somewhere where... Or not just to spike them. I want to go down there. I wanted to anyway, but now just like because they did that, I want to go and see what's down there, even more so. Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Not to self, James. This time just take like the way around over here. That might help. Well, at least we found a chest. What's in this one? Oh. Well spotted. Most impressive. Such a thing escapes my master's notice entirely. Well, now they know. Knowing it's half the battle. G.I. Joe or something. I don't know. I'm sleep deprived, Lawrence. Bear with me. I mean, not really sleep deprived. I did get a few hours of sleep before I started the stream up. And I did kind of sleep decently. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just curious what's there because it seemed like there was a house. And houses usually mean, like, houses out of the way mean side quests. Side quests. So we're gonna see that we got down there. Freaking smoker lungs, man! My, man, I swear. Furthermore, why do you want, Fiona? I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? You mean right here, Lawrence? Is 
There is a Cyclops down there sunbathing. I know that's what I saw. He's not working on that tan, apparently. Just, just carry them off, apparently. He's using my tactics. Well, they got a wing, sorry. It's called getting stabbed. Wolf, stay. Oh, so that's the way we're playing this, huh? Yeah, um... Don't... No, no, you wanted this. So ambush tactics, huh? Okay. Don't flatter yourself. Come on, Lord. You bastard. Do not keep me from reviving my pawn ever again. Hold on. I don't think so. I said that's enough. Jeez. All right, Lawrence, I got you. That was for a moment I thought I'd met my end. Oh, my thanks to you, we would have bought you back. Ah, that was a bit frustrating. My health bar got screwed up again. Does this loss isn't me shove it though? Uh, Fiona, what are you doing? Hey. I, mean, I, I would like for her to have been conscious when I not when I took her out, you know? So she wouldn't like, you know, saw my eyes like the person who sent her to the afterlife. But I mean, that works too, I suppose. Just bonk her in the head. You do a whole freaking boulder on her. <laughs> Lawrence fights dirty and I love it. A common reward. Frustratingly so. Hey, you know, it's food's food, Fiona. treasures around every corner. Well, I mean, we found some treasure there, so. Sun bloom. And shoes. Or boots, or whatever. I think I already had these before, or whatever, and they weren't as... Hang on. Yeah, that's... Yeah, step down. However, I could get them to Fiona, and she could put these on, because God knows she needs new clothes. Yeah, she needs new clothes. I can't really, I don't have really a whole lot to give her, but. Let's see, there's something else I can work with here. See, I, yeah, um, I can give her this at least. Let's see. I got two of the rings of exhalation. I don't think she really needs those. She's been holding her own. Can't really see him though because she's still wearing that robe, but we're gonna get her like some better clothes soon though. Hopefully by the end of the stream. Now, perhaps this will seem to be consequence, but Here it comes. Different masters favor different forms. One I'm aware, Lawrence, you've spun this story. <laughs> for allies. Words worth hearing. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's only like the first thousand times, Fiona. All right, team, let's eat. All right, so what's for... I mean, either, both of them basically do the same thing, but I want to keep, like, my dried meat. Uh, yeah, you do. It's like a traditional thing with RPGs, like, you know, better stats, but, you know, uh, better weapons and better clothes. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. But yeah, um, it's like just usually how it goes with RPGs. Like, you know, as long, like, basically, you know, you want to, like, keep yourself outfitted with better clothes. Even though some of them are ugly as hell. And God knows, I really need to get my character a new face and new hair and different hair. I've got to do something about him. I personally hope there might be a way to transmog in this. So pretty much, you know, you can, like, you know, if there's a particular... Particular way you can, um, Come. We've much to be getting there's a particular, like, you know, outfit you like, you can, like, just, like, you know, give, like, um, like another outfit that's, like, stronger, like, the look of, like, an outfit you like. There's a lot of games that do that now, so. I wonder. I'm gonna stab Lawrence there. Alright, there's another chest here. There's no goblins around to keep us from taking it. Of course, if there was, I just killed him and take it anyway. Chest. I shall take a look inside. No, I took a look inside. Now I kind of want to go over that way, but we really need to get back to the main quest. God knows, like we've been slacking on that. Because we keep going to this right away, we're gonna go. We're gonna get there like around the other side. And that's a lot of ground. We're just gonna keep on like going through until we cover all this. So. God knows that's like a lot left right there. See, it's it's very deceptive looking. It looks to me like there's a whole bunch of different branches and whatnot. Yeah, we need to just focus on the main story stuff. It's not a race, Lawrence. Yeah, basically the way this works is that, uh, Sammy, is that aside from that, the way that this works... Chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where are you talking about, Lawrence? I am talking. You shut your face. Um, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by Lawrence again, um, the way this game works is, like, it's basically traditional in the sense that, we you know, with how you, um, you know, get stronger is, like, through, like, better clothes, better armor, better weapons... But they also have, like, you know, a pretty awesome thing that, you know, when you have, like, your vocation or your job or um, class, you can actually switch them out, like, during the game. You don't have to make, like, a new character to do that. So you experiment with different vocations over time. Like, currently I'm using the thief vocation, but I can switch out. I was, I was using the archer one yesterday trying to use that, and I can switch back to this one. And they have, like, other advanced ones you unlock. Who can say what awaits us on the other side? I understand. Like we came, we we just were here a little while ago. We know what's on the other side. It's the way back, the way we came. Yeah. Well, I never played um eleven. Actually, I haven't really played like too much of like you know any of the Final Fantasies that much. I really need to kind of get more on them. I mean, I played like the most I played is like probably fifteen. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Yeah, they have like some really interesting ones. I like how at least they waited for me. Or that's one of them. Wait a minute, hold on. Um, where's y'all's boss? Someone's missing. I hope we didn't lose him. But yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, I haven't really played a whole lot of RPGs myself over the years. What's that? What the hell? Where'd they spawn in from? The little... Gr Little weed bastards, they came in out of nowhere. You know, the whole point of getting a jump on us is actually be good at it. Oh, I did not plan jumping over that, but I'll take it. I could have 
You boys really should watch yourselves. It's not a good thing to do. What can I say, though? At least I, you ain't got to worry about making you any ugly. Boys, you shouldn't do that. Because trust me, you don't want to know what happened to the last goblins. But I guess around time I gave you a little bit of a hint. This might be the part where I let you guys know I was holding back. But yeah, I haven't played a huge amount of RPGs. Oh shoot, I did set the grass on fire. That is cool. I wasn't even paying attention. I was so busy like just going to tag on Titan on them. <laughs> but yeah, um, like the most recent RPG I played and actually beat was Earthbound. I never actually completed it before. But this is uh, the thing is like a lot of RPGs like have it where you know you don't really get to, like change your class out and everything. So this is like one of those few that lets you. Fiona, your lectures are noted, but I will not take that. I'll pick up everything you find. Yeah, you want to talk there? She picked up one of these beetles and didn't tell me. You mean to? Give me that. It's been sitting there. We can't even use it because you you know you can't use it. She's gonna give me a lecture about you're gonna become over uh, over encumbered, over burdened with it if you pick up every trick you find. But yeah, we had something right there she was holding on to that could actually give us less encumbrance. She is not one to talk, but she is right though. I do have like a lot of stuff I do need to turn in at some point. Yeah, Evil West, um, they recently had, they had it not long ago. I technically have a copy of it. Um, they put it, like, I think for free. Actually, no, I don't know if I got a copy of it. I know it was free on the PlayStation Store some time ago. I haven't played it yet, but, uh, the Septus, who's, like, you know, my streaming buddy that, you know, my, you know, my streaming buddy or whatever, you know, he, I saw him, I think, I think I saw him play some of it. It was, like, you know, on PlayStation Plus. Now I'm getting the hang of how biting wind works. Yeah, I haven't played Evil West personally. Strategy. All I did was just like, you know, went back and forth, just smacking the crap out of him. It's not a problem, you know. We, trust me, we're not. Uh, there ain't no. Uh, we don't like you know bash on grammar errors here. I mean, the only times I kind of would is if it was like someone that was like trying to troll or whatever. You good, Lawrence? You know I had him, right? Oh, you want? All right, fine. Well done, master. I like how you had his hand. I was like, I. Maybe think of Pars while Ready Player One. All the times he put his uh, put his uh, hand up, tried to high five someone, and they, you know, they. Okay. But yeah, the movie for Ready Player One. Every time, like you know, Parzival like tried to put his um, or <laughs> he tried to like put his hand up to high five someone, and they just. They're like, nah, fam. You're awkward as hell. But no, um... Yeah, I need to get on that. I have it. Um, I haven't actually started streaming it yet. I was probably gonna wait until Halloween to play it, or like around October. One can see far to the distance from here. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. So right there, in just a few seconds, I thought of like, you know, uh, I can go distance from Hercules and I think we're alone now by Tiffany. Hold up. Oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Dare I 
I mean, I had him, Lawrence. I mean, if you're trying to one-up me here or whatever. Is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. The teamwork makes the dream work. Or in that case, the ream work. I mean, we just kind of like just screwed him royally. Are you talking about the, the release dates or that just happened right there? Because I think Lawrence like kind of like just walks to be his own drum. Yeah, we're going the right way now because we need to meet back up with like what's his name, but I don't even know where the hell he is. Let's see, is this where we fought the Cyclops before? What? He thinks I spy all to use. You ought to take a closer look. I don't know. Was this where we fought the Cyclops? His ass is still laying there. He's still there. We kicked that Cyclops ass like two days ago and he's still there. <laughs> Looking like freaking Snorlax blocking the road in Pokemon. I am attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Eh, we're good. Appreciate you though. Ingredients are plentiful here about. No harm in picking a few. I'm so with this guy wherever he's. It's just the fact he's still here. Like, you know, we whooped his ass earlier. Like, we're all just, like, walking on his corpse and everything. And Fiona just over here just... <laughs> I wonder if I can do it again. Forgotten something arisen? You're looking rather lost. I'm just experimenting, Lawrence. What have I done to deserve this? Look here. Water is uh. seeping through the cracks. Okay, apparently it doesn't work twice. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't work twice, apparently. Of course, no one might like it probably would have. All right, let me see. Um, it looks like there's seen another quest up here, another something. Uh, that's right, we couldn't get to that before, could we? Ah, I'll take that. Of course you would. A use for it. Wait, is that him right there? No, that's, what's her name? I wonder if he went back to the capital. Wait, hold on. <laughs> he finally... I wonder if they just got lost themselves. Like, they didn't actually know how to reach me. Like, they could have actually came along, but they got stuck. For some reason, the way they just came running around there was hilarious. I was like, all right, Risen, I guess I will go back to leading you again. Dude, we've already unspoiled, like, half the map over here. He doesn't, he doesn't even actually bother trying to, like... Everyone else, for the most part, well, some of them actually, you know, like, try to climb over it, but he's, like, too, you know, proper to, like, walk over a Cyclops. I'm a, I'm a man of honor, my fine sir. We will not, I mean, be a beast of brethren. I will not step over their corpse. Yeah, you do that, all right? I mean, I'm going to, like, I'm going to, like, uh, tiptoe all over, is it? I've seen the ox carts just arrived. You'll be riding in it with us till we reach the capital. So you mean to say this fucker right here got stuck back there, and if he didn't get stuck, I could have had an ox cart. I mean, of course, if it would have done that, we wouldn't have had our adventures. We could have got a fa Talk about a sequence break. If you value your life, stand and fight, wretch. Well, I suppose I better help. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I see them. What battle? Hell yeah. Seems we drove them off. I drove them off. Right. Back into the ops cart with you and be quick about it. We've had enough delays as tis. That's not very personal. He's like, I, I'm heading up your dilly dallying in Arisen, or so you call yourself in Arisen. You go after a dilly dallying fighting cyclopses and goblins and such, while we're like, you know, stuck back there being overtaken by a log. You could have helped us, you know. The following morning. Uh, it sucks the cutscenes are in 60 FPS, but the gameplay isn't. Like all that, all that we were doing, and then we just get over here. We go back, find him, and bam, we're already there. I wonder if this actually. I remember you. I like the little twitches in his eyes right there. Was informed of your coming towards the Arisen. Hold on a second. I don't want to hear it, Brant, considering the fact that you were at my coronation ceremony. So do not start with me. You're part of this conspiracy. I know you are. And I will stab your wish app, Ildris Elba looking ass, like right here on this street. I don't care if I get arrested. Fiona can tell you about my habit of throwing. Well, actually, this might be a different Fiona, but she can tell you about my habit of throwing people at people and getting arrested for it. You might want to watch out. I mean, I'm kind of like, you know, a bit, you know, versed in manhicular manslaughter. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. You don't want to get... You don't want to get me started. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. Finally, someone acknowledges my efforts. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. Yeah, there can only be one Highlander, too. And we have so many movies about multiple people trying to, like, you know, play the game. He was there at my coronation. He's in on this. I know he is. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. Why does it seem like... This two games now where we got some pompous jackass on the throne or whatever who's there without deserving it. I mean, <laughs> Edmund. Um, yeah, you got for those who played the first game, not going to spoil it, but yeah. For those who saw me play it or who had played, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. I'll tell you what, why don't you go grab a pair of your best daggers? I'll show you how much of a pretender I am. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. How many Cyclopses have you killed there? I mean... I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. You know, if you were that concerned about what I'm going to do, you know, you should have, like, took my daggers at the gate. You were terrible at your job. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. You Uno reversing son of a bitch. You mean to say If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. Well played, Brant. Well played. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Enough of this false knave. Your anger is well justified, and I shan't deny me it. However, I am obliged to make you aware of your situation. 
Uh, yeah, because I want to know exactly what's going on here, because there are some things that I'm a bit in the dark about. Your rival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deeser of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right. Ruling oh, hell yeah, she looks like a Lannister. And just after the consul's passing, when t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Yeah, so they basically, I take it, just drugged me and then sent me, you know, uh, packing into, like, the mines. Basically, why, I'm assuming she wiped my memory or drugged me, did something to wipe my memory, and then sent me off to the mines where, basically, I wouldn't know about myself to be a problem for them anymore. I get how to think. I think I get where this is going. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I like this guy, you know. At first I was mad. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, you better let me in. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray. Visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. I'm just glad to be home. Or whatever this is. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? I got 6,000 gold just for, like, coming home. Right in Bentworth. And I've been waiting for this because I'm guessing this is. Yeah, so this is basically this game. I mean, probably I'll assume this game's a Grand Soren. But it's about where I said it was going to be before. So. Oh, I cannot wait to go out here and do some. Pray forgive me. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Pinocchio, what do you want? Come, Sonnet. Get back here. Well, place seems lively. You there? Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Yeah, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. So that payback for the fat y'all's ass is like, you know, some willingly threw me off somewhere. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. Eh, king's gotta look after his citizens. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Hey, don't let Norman do you like that. And no wonder Norman couldn't catch him. You guys saw that, right? He was trying to run after him. He and all, all you see over here is like all you saw was him like go the opposite direction and then turn around and correct his course. Sturdy enough to climb. I lack information pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. No, you're gonna stick around for a little bit longer, show. I'll hire another pawn at some point, but right now you're with us. Greetings. You do realize you're supposed to sit down in these things, right? It's like she just popped up on there not knowing she was supposed to be there. At some point, I am gonna get better pawns. Right now, I kind of like, you know, show kind of like, you know kind of grown on me. I don't know if they actually level up when they're with you or not, but. Fluted bow. Yeah, 
There's plenty of places to sleep on the streets here. I do like, you know, like how this town looks, though. It definitely looks more expanded than Grand Soren. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Which I just did like two minutes ago, Fiona. Oh, hey! You're the good soul who aided me in now. Thank you again, sir. You don't know how grateful I am to you. I wonder if she needs help with anything else. Oi, sir. We've started selling that medicine. Oh, coolness. Our shop. Why don't you come see? That's neat. So we actually can get like I think it was like the fruit thing that we saw that we gave to her. All right, what's going on, Jorn? Welcome to Bjorn's. Oh, Bjorn. You'll find only pieces of the finest quality line in these shelves. All right, I'll be the judge of that. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. And you know what? Since there's like. Before you check the price, just remember, misers die early deaths. I like him already. But what I like is you can give him gifts, and I'm pretty sure chances are I'm, I'm having a feeling there's probably like a bunch of people that probably already try to romance this guy. No, no, just you, just you can tell. He looks like someone that people probably try to romance just how he looks. And also, there might be some perks trying to like you know romance the weaponsmith. So I can hand up my equipment here at least. All right. God knows this stuff is expensive though. So the Ranger's Vests, they don't look too bad. Just trying to see, um... It'd be really nice to have that Ranger's Vest. That's a pretty nice boost of stuff. Um... Now we're actually starting to get in, like, you know, some better things here. I think I might actually pick that up. How much is it? I can afford it. All right, what else can I afford, if anything, um, in regards to pants? Yeah, it probably is my magic defense takes a hit. Slash resistance as well. I'm trying to find something that gives me, like, all blues. I just want me... I need to find somewhere where I can change my hair and my face. I'm tired of this. I'm about to put this on just like, you know, I don't know. So I could actually be a ninja. Magic defense takes a hit, but I totally actually would rock that. All right. First things first, can I sell anything? Do I have anything worth selling here? All right, so we, this is stuff we can just sell. You're not getting my Seekers token, though. All right. Hope to see you again. Our packs are heavier. Wait, is that? Hold up. Need anything? I thought you were. I thought he was my masterworks guy from the previous game. He's got the same hairstyle. Fairy stones. Mundane camping kit. Good God. Well, it's a fairy stone, but the problem is that it does not really gonna help us out too much at the moment. Because we don't have, um... There might be some port crystals already set up. Who knows? From tens to blankets, chairs, cooking pots, or camping kits of all, uh, your need. You need for chips near and far. You will not want to go anywhere without one. All right, so... Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Um, show. 
Just rob the man, why don't you? To this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Show just had no chill. He just walked right in here and like and stole right behind this guy. I can't with him. You look at his wares just fine. Or someone looked at someone's wares there, Show. I don't think that was Show that was talking, but. Fresh roots for sale. I mean, serious. If you're gonna like, you know, do some robbing, you know, like make sure someone sees you. That's totally not how you do that. And I'm a thief, so I'm giving poor advice, but. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes. Indeed. The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. What's so, what so resplendent about it? Hold up. Well. I was going to let her finish her story, but she disappeared. We shall not stand for unfair pricing practices. Why should Beastrins be expected to pay more gold for the same wares? The merchants of Vermont have less integrity than a horde of goblins. Oof. Well, it sounds mean like this town's got a bit of a um, racial inequality problem. I'm gonna let Public Domain Lindsay Sterling do her thing. Which obviously, of course, was by no means dissing Lindsay Sterling. You know, I absolutely loved it. Let me some Lindsay Sterling. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Okay, so you can romance the beast, Ken uh, Barwench. I wanna see what it does. Wonderful. I'll sell me for I don't even know you. I don't know what the hell that did, but I mean, I guess we all had fun. Oops. All right, that wasn't me that time now. I know if I broke something. I mean, at least it ain't without no furniture. I'm just wondering, like, what have you actually drink too? If you drink like a crap load, like if they actually get in a bar fight or something. To procure, if we coin, but we might be lucky enough to Sorry, ma'am. Some in treasure chests. Indeed, you are correct. All right, I'm just trying, I need to like pay attention to the map. I'm trying to see if there's a place I can find, you know, get to, like the item that you require to be able to change your looks. I'm trying to get like the audio levels for this just right. Cause it sounds like this game is like really low. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look. Okay, let's see what you got. I think I found a hunter's bow out there. We don't need that. Um, stilettos. That's a nice boost for those. You can't afford them, though. There's no real drawbacks to getting them. I kind of want to definitely... Uh, Fiona needs something, though. I do need to get her, like, you know, some, uh... But we need the money for it first. <laughs> Right, if you have the requisite materials at hand, to hand, you can enhance your equipment at any shop or equipped with a forge. Consider you enhance your equipment according to your level and fighting style. So how's the smithing? There are several types of smithing using enchantment. And each one produces a different result, such as moderate, all-around improvement, or a significant increase in magic or mind. That's pretty cool. Choose the style that is most compatible with your preferred equipment and approach to combat. Okay, so it just costs 68 for the first enhancement, but it's probably... I'm going to wait until I actually, you know, get me, like, a... My next, like, you know, level of daggers. Hang on, what... Right, this, this looks interesting. A little... It's a pawn guild, it looks like. Yep, 
That's what it is. Pawn guild. Interested in my wares? Interested in my wares? You just said that, Mo. How rip the crystals burns and it's the only can't be used by my main pawn at camp. This mysterious thing gives you a pawn a different inclination and voice to match. Oh. Crap, we ain't got enough up for it though. Such tone allows it to originate their own appearance or the appearance of a pawn. One use only. It can be used when visiting a barbary. Crap, I can't, like, get them just yet, though. I can't get it. I'm a little off. I do need that, though. I have a feeling like I'm only going to be able to, like, to, um... It says two, so chances are I can only, like, do it for once for, like, you know, the resident once for the pawn. Many thanks. Now, I think, like, every time I open one, uh, like, I do open, like, a rip crystal, like, you know, use a rip crystal. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. The thing's supposed to be, like, whenever you use these, you get my, you know, uh... Rip crystals out of them. Rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. What rumor? Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift. I know he's talking about ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence. And in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. Okay, dude. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful. Lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. I want to get a haircut. Welcome, good sir. My services lie in the styling of hair and the painting of faces. Should you so desire, I can help you find your truest self. And God knows I need a new hairstyle. Well, that's messed up. Hope to see you again. Hang on a second. Oh. First impressions count for much. So you can change it. All right, that's basically just I for changing that. You a new hairstyle, or hope to see you again. Hold on, can you romance? Oh, you can't. All right, you can't romance. I want to check. If you like, much obliged, sir. All right, so you can romance her. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? We jump. Stop what? I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the matter at hand. Perhaps we should have a more knowledgeable pawn join our party. The thing, like I probably I mean for those prices. Seriously, I mean, I gotta do. I mean, I'm, I'm walking around like a, looking like a freaking Weasley or something. I need to like change the color and the. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? He was just so calm about just coming into like you know the, the shop. You know, we're all right. We're, we are respectable thieves here. You know, we will take stuff out of their house. We're not going to be dancing on their table, Lawrence. We gotta have like some decorum of your know, respect here. I find fettle. All right, what is this fettle you're in? You good? Good day to you. Okay, I thought for like from over this way he was wearing a gas mask, but he just had like his tankard up to his face. I'm just trying to like, you know, just see what all is here. Yeah, if I trust me, I'm trying to find have I'm trying to find money to be able to afford these wares. 
port crystal. Use my fairy stone instantly transport to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are a permanent fixture of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have to get, have up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any time. Once placed, a port crystal can be recovered if you wish to move it somewhere else. Permanent port crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone destinations. The pack's grown rather heavy. Perhaps his pack. Say, you've got a decent arm on you. What do you want, kid? I'm busy. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. So you've been watching me? Pray, sir. Teach me to fight like you do. A kid, you don't want to fight like I do, because what that means is going to translate to you is you getting your ass kicked for about 20 battles before you actually become a threat. I'm after an instructor, see. But the ones in this city are Craven's all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. Yeah, if you try to, like, you know, get me, like, you know, give you two of the joint, you're going to be Craven as an ass whooping. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? All right, kid, insert Mulan uh, training montage here, I suppose. And this Baron fellow. He's a real warrior? Yes. I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, I've seen your prowess. I'm inclined to trust your judgment. Many thanks, sir. Methinks I'll seek out this Baron and see what he can teach me. He seems pretty determined and sure of himself or whatever. I mean, he came right at me or whatever, wanting, you know... You can see, you can see he wanted it. Oh! Ah, excellent that point. Baron. So that's how you do it. Okay, because I was trying to figure that out or whatever. Like, okay, did we just find him wherever? So sure enough. All right, so we got a soldier for him to train. And Baron, since he's a beast can or whatever, yeah, now we just got to find procure, uh, find procure weapons and... All right. Well, it's nice that we got, like, part of that side quest out of the way. I live life as I please, and why shouldn't I? Okay, you're just like a random ass NPC. I can romance you too. Is there anyone in this game, in this city, like I can't romance? It looks like a treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? All we had to do is walk, Fiona. It's like two feet away. Man, you're just right here, like doing your thing, like looking like. Yep. Pretty sure the lady players this game probably romanced your ass too. Wait. Oh, you can't. The guild hall. Oh, you can't romance him. Probably like one of the best looking guys in this game so far. And you can't romance him. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. I mean, that's the thing. I'm straight, but I'll say straight up. This guy's handsome. I mean, damn. <laughs> I can give him secret tokens. You found any of the items we discussed, per chance? We ain't discussed them. Took the secret token and shut up. A fa well, better than nothing. 220, a ring bear, a slightly boost discipline gain from defeating. It's kind of a underwhelming reward. At least I can get Fiona a pretty nice staff. Okay, so let's just process the fact that it seems like I definitely would rock those daggers. They're pretty strong wear, but the fact that the charming course set it gives you hella defense though, but ain't no way in hell I'm wearing that shit. How's it seem like, you know, boost maximum health, maximum stamina, and the maximum amount of weight that would depend that sounds like that's better than the main reward award you get right there. The one you get for five fairy stones seems like it's much better than the one you get for finding all of them. What the hell was that? I level up, I guess. All right, yeah, so you can level them up here. Level, first off. We got two more avail available now. Warrior and sword. God damn, that big, that's a big sword. I'm guessing, like, you can go, like, you know, Guts from Berserker, I suppose. Berserk. All right, Sorcerer. That was the class I had for Fiona in, um...
They won't let me get it. I probably like, need to like, you know, do something in one of these other uh, classes first. I'm assuming we probably have to like, you know, get leveled up in fighter first before we can use warrior and get level get her leveled up. Now she's already level 4 mage. Yeah, this, this menu's a little tricky to navigate at times. All right, so Helm Splitter is still the same thing. Shadow Cloak. I think we already had that. Yeah, basically those dirt on himself. So it says we can upgrade that, but I don't really want to do that just yet. Ignited Blades. So it just lasts a little longer. Um... I kind of want to get that powder charge, just because that would just be so much disrespect. Because of step. What the hell did he just do? So use this supposed to blast to withdraw from the point of detonation. So he grenade jumps. Yeah, I haven't really, I, I'll, well, I, mean, I haven't actually really watched or read any much of Berserk. Like, none at all. But I do know of some stuff that's happened. Cast out Quartz. I kind of want that. I mean, I don't know how much I'll be using it, but that would be great for Harpies. But just, <laughs> see, just me and I would just freaking... Lasso a Cyclops. I kind of want that. But let's see if we got anything. All right. Increases the amount of health recovered by Curators and Cure. Okay. Augment your magic defense. Hold on. That's not for me, though. Bump and lift. Rob's target of item when an attack connects. That isn't using card, but has a low success rate. Oh, so you can wall jump in this. That could be handy. Slightly restores health when you deliver a killing blow to a foe. That was a bit pricey, but we needed it. Now that bump and lift would be good. So here's the thing though. Yeah, Hunter's bow. So I guess you already equipped like the strongest one. I kind of want to go back to this for a bit. But it depends on what kind of skills we got now. So you've still got the same skills with it. And I have been doing pretty good. Yeah, I definitely need to. It's, one, it's another one of those things I need to get around uh, get around to doing. Get, cause, I mean, I'm, right now I'm working on trying to like work my way through um, Black Clover. Though I haven't watched really much of any anime lately because I've been so busy with everything else. We'll go back to theme for now. All right. Um. We got two of these now. All right. So now let's just kind of like you know, see like what else we can do with this. Because Fiona, is there anything we can do for her? So we got like 3,000 left for her, like 3,730. Uh, 3, we got 3,730 we can use for her. See, so we got Flagoration. We can power her spells up. We can give her like, you know, we got enough to give her, um, 
She doesn't have a high frigger. But we can give her a high flagration. So he just like boosted her flagration. Fla like flagration. And we're going to boost Levin. Kind of magical sigil that cures the caster and their allies of certain deliberations. That would be handy, but... Kind of magical sigil that hastes the speed of allies within range. The effect persists for a period of time. We're going to stick with what she's got. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, Black Clover's been great so far. Definitely, you know, it's, it's been really fun. I think I'm probably, like, on, like, the, uh, like episode 50-something. So I'm not really that far. I mean, I'm... Probably about like I guess like I think there's like 170 or so episodes, so I'm I've put a some of a chunk I like you know put a dent in it, but not a massive one. I kind of want to give her this just to see like Fiona just flying around. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be hilarious. She's floating around like Mary Poppins casting spells. I'm totally giving her that. All right, let's take event. I'm wanting to like get her mage class level because that's how we unlock sorcerer. That's what I'm gonna be giving her in the end. Cause she, yeah, it's um black clover's been great. I mean, I still definitely need to get back to uh, trying to you know chip on through one piece. I'm still like just slightly past this time skip on that. And one piece is basically my favorite anime. I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. Okay. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand. We are unable to outfit new members. So that's the reason. It's not that we got to work our way up to it. We have he 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 lacks the um. And we cannot simply purchase more, as a delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds. Yeah, there's a lot I'm behind on myself. Goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to procure a weapon yourself. That is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Okay, so that's the thing. We can get her sorcerer. We just need to get an art stave. All right, so. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen ship. So the equipment was stolen. God, my character. I, I need to like do something about my character. Why are you? Why are you behind me like that? What do you want? He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Don't worry, I'll get you some weapons. We shall have to scour high and low. No, we don't. We just gotta like go over and talk to. You we gotta be. For information. Mayhap we ought to speak with this Sir Roderick. <laughs> Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. I mean, how, what would I ever do without you, Show? Is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Fiona. It's literally right down there on the way marker. We got this. And I was just over here like about like ten minutes ago, give or take. I know where he is. Or was this Roderick or Welcome Oh that's to right Bjorn's armory and quality is what you need if you want to so hope to see you again. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Bjorn. Um Bjorn. Here we are. Bjorno Giovanni. Bjorno's pizza. Hoi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be grateful for all you can reclaim. So let's press. So the fact is he wants me to rescue like you know some equipment from for him and there was like, you know, um, what's his name? Baron, who wanted me to find equipment for him. I wonder if, like, Roderick can help us out with that. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids. I've okay. just learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. You know what? You told me it was goblins or whatever. All you had to do was lead with that. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry... Would weigh heavily on my heart. Yeah, I would say they would weigh heavily on mine, but let's be real. Don't really have one. The dragon took it. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? I like his personality. Okay, if we're gonna go out and do this, um, I wanna see if there's anything else I can sell first. Alright, so we do know the hunter's bow is like the yeah. And fluted bow. Now that should get me enough to, you know, get what I wanted. I wanted the stilettos. Shit, I still ain't got enough. This ain't my day. 
I'm pretty sure we're gonna find more ore and everything, but I'm just trying to see what can we part with that would be like a qu quick. Hmm. I definitely ain't selling that that uh misshapen eye. I do like you know they kind of like you know, made things look a little bit different here. Like they kind of like you know, gave like a little more flair to like how the like the items look compared to the first game too. I mean, I just need enough money to just kind of like help me get by on this. I know we can get like more bones from a cyclops. Is there anything over here that I can sell that can get us like, you know, a little bit of money? So we got like the mighty rubber ants, but we're not getting rid of those because we definitely could use those. Um... We're gonna fight more Cyclopses. I need to upgrade my uh I need these. Plus I can sell these to him now. Get a little bit of money back. And now I can upgrade them. Enhance equipment. I definitely need to get something else for Fiona too, but I also don't wanna like Put like try to like you know put too much into getting her like a staff or whatever because you know you need as particular staff she needs like for sorcerer and I want to like you know go ahead and get her over to that class when I can. Two hundred sixty five to upgrade. It's a little steep. Okay, we need slate colored horn. I do like how it decreases the weight as well. So is that what it is now? Is that 184 now or is that the next level? Let's see what we got here. It's 174. Still. Okay. Um we need to find somewhere we can go ahead and put everything in storage. Gold we just spent. It is clear the arisen is no miser. An investment made for safer travels can hardly be called extravagant. It seems we must venture to Travo Mine. I believe it lies to the northwest of Vernwa. So he's been there before. Okay. Pray, allow me to show you the way. First off, we gotta like deposit some stuff. Most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Coming through. Different destination in mind, Master. Very well. I shall follow your lead instead. There will be other opportunities to leave. For now, let us follow. Music's awesome in here, though. Is there a chest up here? Hold on a second. Shit. It's, it's showing like an icon like there's a chest sent up there. I'm, I'm determined to go and see. Yeah, I'm looking very sus out here just doing all this. Am I stuck? I was about to say. Look, I need to just start jump, uh, stop jumping along the buildings before I get arrested. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I've been arrested in a Dragon's Dogma game. A ladder, is it? How convenient. Ah, excellent find. Okay, so that's what that is. Yeah, that's what the exclamation point is. Just walking randomly in people's houses, because, you know, that's what we do around here, apparently. Shit! Travel wheresoever we please. Yeah, like to be squandered. 
We got like one destination we can go to. It's like about like 20 feet away. We'll wait on it. Okay, we need to find like, you know, the, the inn. Here it is. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, we got here this morning. We're somewhere along there. Okay, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and like, do some combining. Dried fish, okay. I like how that makes layering oil. All this rotten stuff, hold up. Row robberant. Okay, that's how you make row. Medicinal pellet and consume it. Form no common fish eggs. Okay, what does this make? With a saurian tail? Exquisite rubber. I don't even know, I know what I just made. Alright, so let's see. It's the materials more than anything we need to get rid of. Yeah, that definitely put it down. Um, put this away for right now since we don't really need it. And this. And could sell that. All right. We can't really rest, though. So unfortunately, we're just going to go ahead and have to... What's this row I got? We got two rows. I mean, I know, like... Mighty Rubrant. Great deal of health. All right, so basically, it's just like it's, uh... It's kind of like a mincemeat thing. That's made of fish. So yeah, both of them can uh, recover a great deal of health. But this one, a pellet with outstanding med uh, medicinal properties. This re recipe is closely guarded sea. It restores an astonishing amount of health and stamina. It sounds really good. So I probably shouldn't have. Like, at the moment. So we can't sleep yet. The only thing is, like, this game doesn't really hold your hand on, like, letting you find quests. So you kind of have to, like, seek them out. That's kind of morbid, but cool at the same time. I like this. So the water actually is like mimicking the blood spewing out of the dragon's neck. Alright, so we need to go and um, check out this one area. Oh, you more... Whoa! I don't think so. That was close. So we're going a completely different direction this time. It's not really good we're going out at night. 
But I probably should have just slept on a bench or something. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigand folk? If we seek monsters, oh shit, zombies. Like they're gonna be just as much of a pain in the ass to be they were in the in the previous in the first game. Now it sounds a little bit too loud. Means uh, good XP though. There you go, Fiona. Okay, they're not that bad to deal with. I got you, Lawrence. Okay, so I thought they were gonna be tough. The cinnamon bark. Awesome. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. So I thought they were gonna be absolute pain because zombies in the first game were just a tr like just a slog to fight at times. I noticed the health bar wasn't going down that much, but then we started doing damage, you know. Okay, so at least we're kind of like going exploring back up this way. Going kind of like, you know, ways we already went to an extent. Or going back towards it. Hell, oh. food's gone rotten. I'd best dispose of it and free up some space in my pack. What was that out there? Great phantasms or something. They definitely will hold the design of them too. Thankfully, Fiona should be able to handle them, hopefully. Well Wait, okay. I can actually hurt them in this game, it looks like. Rune crystals. We needed those. Okay. She ranked up. So at least the phantasms, if that's what that was. Let me see. History. Enemies felt. Yeah, normally it's Matt. Yeah, yeah, phantoms. Okay. That's what I was worried. I thought it was phantoms. Um, three of them. But I don't know if it's because of fire. I mean, normally you need magic. And unless... I, it might be like... If it is like what she imbued my blades with, that's understandable. I mean, it had to have been because obviously the whole... The I didn't really use my... I, feel at peace. I didn't like use the uh, enkindled blade, so... I do like listen... Now, just what the hell was that? I thought I saw an eye. All right, guys, it's battle time. Like, right, let's go, ugly. There we go. How's it going, sexy? Tell <laughs> Oh my god, we're whooping his ass.
Uh oh, but I've got a problem here. I'm out. Oh boy. Hold up. Uh, uh oh. Okay, let me... Damn, the, even the pig's getting in on the... Oh, God, I got sat on. Damn. It seems we have enraged our foes. Why can't you use their rage? That... Damn, get up. Trust me, no one here is madder than I am right now. I just got sat on. You know, you gotta stop doing that. Knock it off. Follow me, sit down. Aim for the nape of that neck, motherfucker. He's dead. Shut up. Show. Uh, kind of let him hang in there for a second. I didn't see like he was he wanted a high five. At least we took like, that's two Cyclopses down. We got poor pig though. The pig got called the crossfire. Yo, craggly ass gonna freaking sit on me. <laughs> really now, you mustn't shirk your duty. Lest you forget, tis the arisen we serve here. Okay, let's see. It looks like there's another um. If you actually could pick the club up and just bob someone with it. I'll take a lot of strength though. Okay, um, it's saying it's generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I'm gonna be mad if like whatever the rare item is, his ass fell on it. If there's like an item here you can get. Cause show an exclamation point there, but I ain't seeing anything. Unless it's up there. to think of it we're all of differing vocations aren't we one should think we'll be able to counter whatever comes our way i see it as a glad thing we are well poised to supplement each other's strengths yeah okay where in the fudge is this item whatever it is i ain't seen anything over here it's showing this exclamation point but i ain't seen it a single thing i i swear i feel like you know this Thing might have fell on it. But I don't know. It's been really tricky trying to find some of these exclamation points. They say there's an item nearby, but then we don't find anything. Hold up. Got some potatoes at least. Okay, we need to get back on track. Um Said there's a cave. Headwater cave. It is our first time setting foot in this. Prepare to engage. It's just a bat, Fiona. Currently. Any beast will grow ferocious when backed into a corner. Master, are you unharmed? Hey. Attack on one of us, attack on, on all of us, lady. So we're dealing with bandits down here. At least that's one thing. Come on, then. Let's go. Gladly. So you know I got a bit of a hot foot. Okay. 
here and ill suited to combat. But that's all there was in here. That was a very Our shield is pricked. What the fuck? Huh? Huh? Well, this is weird. Oh, you are toast. So that's the way we're going to play this, huh? I want you to know, Harpy, you just made the biggest mistake you could have made. We go through all that just for a Harpy. It's like, oh, I'm going to stay up here and just push someone off. I'm going to be cheap. Okay. All right. It seems we must venture to Trevo Mine. I believe it lies to We'll go there in a minute. Pray, allow me to show you the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Ingredients are plentiful here about. No harm in picking up. descend. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. She comes down here, I'm gonna make one. Use these flames to slight our enemies. She's just gonna, she's just gonna go and hang out over there now. Yeah. And I'm dead. Well, not dead, but that was embarrassing as hell. Now I gotta go. That's why. To me. I shall heal you. Yeah, good luck with that, Fiona. I'm stuck down here. Frustrating. I mean, honestly, one of the worst places I could put harpies. Try to do this. I'm go down there and get her. Yeah, it does like an aqueduct. Do not start me, goblin. Kind of what you did, huh? You know, when your friends up there did something similar, trying to set me on fire. It's really not a smart move. And do not Zerg rush me. Fucking harpies, man. Yeah, I had just about enough of this. Of course, I can't use it. Had it with this. Just so you know, no one likes an opportunist. Be mindful. 
stronger spoke and could sleep quicker than a lullaby and a cup of water. Yeah, if I if I had my other class where I was in Archer, they would not be standing a chance right now. I hate harpies. I'll let Fiona take care of you creeps. Hang on. The only thing I hate about this class where I've gotten, you know, better at with it, but it's trash for fighting harpies. It really sucks we got, like, thrown down here so we can't, like, see what all is up there now. That, now without having to go back to that cave, and I don't even know, where, like, where we are on the map at the moment. Do not blow that horn. They can't fight us normally, so you gotta like jump us like when the goblins are attacking us, huh? Enough of this freaking harpy. Hit them. I could have done no better. I merely did as duty demands. I hate these things so much. They're about to find the hard way how much. Sorry, there ain't no shelter for me. Now that's out of the way. I mean, we're probably not gonna make it to the mine during the night stream. I've just had a thought. I appreciate you carrying our heavy items, but do let me know if you need a hand. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Right, so now that's out of the way. A common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. At least I know whenever I get back to, like, you know, whenever I get around using the staff, things will be, like, you know, a lot better. I think we're going to go ahead and just try to go onto the mine. I mean, whatever's up there on the aqueduct, we can try to look for it later. It's bad we got knocked down like this. It's kind of frustrating, but, you know. Like, if we had, like, a, well, never mind. If this is, like, the way back into the cave, we can just, all right, yeah, we can just get, get them right back up there. And we'd like to see what's there. And it's just gonna take a little bit of time to you know get across it, but I feel like you know why would they put that up there? Like where it seems like you can go all the way towards the city if there's nothing in it, if there's nothing else there. We did get a few items from it. Somewhere there actually might be some kind of like you know really good one at the end. It's like someone like has patience to go all the way to the end of it. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different forms. This story again. One whom I serve 
prefer to have bistrums for allies. Hoping that we may have took out all the harpies. I mean, maybe it just be nothing's here, but I feel like there might be something over here. Like, at the very least, a seeker token, if we're lucky. <laughs> I like how him and Fiona are just, like, vibing over there, just, like, casually walking. You can hear them talking to each other. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We can climb this. This is gonna be like a bit tricky to get back down to the lower path. Well, that there was a quest they want me to do, like you know, pretty much you know, to like to exterminate the harpies. Hey. We tasked with another errand that sent us somewhere near here. The yeah, we just. Of which task to prioritize is the arisens to make? Set it. Seeker's token. Now That's what I thought it was. Rise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. And only when climb this one, so I'm just checking to see what's here, and then we're gonna head back out. Yep, that was definitely something worth it at the end. That gold. So we're harpy pinions. Okay, yeah, that was worth it. How much gold do we have now? 5,000. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the mines because we want to like do this next quest. So that way, at least at the start of the next stream, we can go ahead and focus on... Uh... Some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes. Because I want to go ahead and try to get the... Uh... There's been a shift in the chain of you know, command. get things like open for us to like change Jeffiona's vocation. I don't really care about the warrior thing, but I do want like you know give her the sorcerer class because you know she was like you know a beast like with sorcerer in the previous game. And I want to see like you know how they change things up within this one. I mean, I still like don't have access to the the class that I want. Like I definitely want to start rocking that mystic that uh mystic staff. All right, let's not take a quick way down there. I still just wish that it was like how like Helm's Blitter was like how it was in the first game, where like you could use it from high up and then you could like when you land. As long as you don't jump before you use it, and you know you could um, land, not take damage. Okay, chest. Now we're gonna head on over to the mine. Suppose, well, I mean, if I was using uh, Archer class at the moment, still that would work. That'd be good. It's good if I do decide to switch back to it for a while. So I would like to get both it and uh, Thief like. On without rest isn't ideal. I'm dead on my feet. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. Like I would like to um, get like both Archer and Thief like maxed out. I know there's gonna be an Assassin class in this one, just like in the first one. I might want to tinker around with it and see exactly how it works compared to the other game, but let's we'll have to wait and see. Right now, let's go ahead and get on over here. I mean, like, so now that, you know, it does feel like the game's opening up more now that I've made it over here. And I've gotten stronger weapons now, some better gear, and so it's not hasn't been as bad as when I first started. But also, I know that I'm going to continue to encounter, like, more stronger enemies. I'm going to, like, continue to stay, like, at the ready. This is generally used as a material. Or at least I'm, I'm going to, like, at least, you know, if I see, like, a chest on the way, I'm going to, like, you know, detour over and snag it. Saurian's down there. All right, we got a wake stone, at least. So we can't really get over there anyway. I mean, well, we could if we take that route, but... 
I'm not worried about them just yet. Wait a minute, is that a fire Saurian? Hey! Oh, Fiona blessed my weapons. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about like trying to fight any of these things just yet. We've been like getting sidetracked enough. Plus my this. It might be of use. So I can't tell what kind of... Well, there goes Lawrence. I suppose, I guess. Damn it. It's a terrible idea. Ah, oh, crap. Damn. I blame Lawrence for this. I'm about to die. Shut the hell up! Let my magic spread to an elemental boom. The enemy will kill the enforcements. It seems they need to match our might to the strength of numbers. I knew you would prevail, Master. Quickly, Arisen, you must regain your hostage. They're gonna kill me. Proud of yourself, Lawrence. Let's hold different ball game now, though. I had him revived. You need to back off. Well, she's got him frozen. We're not losing this. All right, let's finish this guy. Well done, master. Uh, Lawrence is dead. Shit. Well, he's the one who wanted to fight. You know, they had that wake stone, and I came back. I came out with better health than I had when going in. I don't know what kind of soaring this was. Looks like it's made of coral. He's got like a coral, you know, armor. Ah, okay. I mean, at least that time I was following Lawrence's lead. I mean, we can get him back in from a ripstone later. Pray, follow me. Well, I thought there's something. Saying there's something here. One never can have too many of these. 
Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Use these planes to slide our enemies. Really, the brine was in that little small bit of water? That was stupid. Uh, Fiona, what were you attacking there? I guess we missed a goblin. Or a wolf came down here. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Okay, now that just made no sense. How is the Brian gonna attack me in a like? That was a really stupid way place for the Brian to attack me. I was trying to make sure that we got everything here because it's saying there's something nearby or whatever. There's an like exclamation point. We never can really tell with these things. Look, I want apples. Shut up. Thing is, these levels of, of Saurians, I think, I swear, I think I just shot a knife right up the stump where his tail was. Those levels of Saurians ain't really much of an uh, issue for us now. Yeah, I whooped his ass, I whoop your ass too. All right, I'll come back to this later. We know where it is because I really do need to get to the mine. We wasted far enough time as is. The only problem is that we... Never mind. I want you guys to know I really hate when y'all do that spamming shit. Now I'm about to whoop that ass. Now you see how it feels. Let's see how you doing this one-on-one. -on -one. these things. Yeah. Crap, dude. Bad move. So at least to say both of them at the same time. We'd be doing a little bit better if we had, like, you know, Lawrence with us still. I'm gonna get him back eventually, but... 
All right, let's go on through here. Maybe we can find a shortcut. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Problem is, like, these camera angles, like, really are not helping. I can't really see what I'm doing in there. That the opportunity I was waiting for. Spit on that. Okay, we need to go and get on through here. I want to go ahead and get like to the mine. One of them's da or down. Crap, Fiona. Thunderous Concord. Sorry, you can't have her. Okay, let's go on through here properly now. <laughs> keep saying this. I keep getting sidetracked. Now, properly, fully, and surely, we're going to this mine now. I say I'm gonna like at least you know get like find no whatever ch chest. Oh, uh, what is it now? All right, let's keep going. I like how I did all that and it's still... You know, that's really not a smart thing to do. See, that's what you get. Watch you drag. Okay, we're almost there at least. I swear it feels like it desynced the sound again. Hold on a second. Ah, okay. At the very least, you know we're pretty much there. Would you mind coming over here? Putrid gold tooth. Very least we can just use one of my fairy stones to get back to the capital after or get back to the um city after this. Our foes are like to use the dark against us. Let them. The cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? Narrow passages may await us. I am well aware of the Just waiting. Got a little gift for them. What are you going to do about it?
Come on down here, boys. Hey. That's my pawn. She's getting, yeah, her health is trash now. Probably should like she have found somewhere to rest before we came in here. Just trying to make sure I get them before they can really know what hits, what, uh, know how to re regroup against us. It's kind of funny just like going in and using the tactics they used on me against them. They want to ambush us, and now we're like we're ambushing them, letting them right. Two hander. Found a great sword. That's one. It's probably the same thing for the others. For other vocational areas, we're gonna like need to find like a particular like a staff or something and use like the other vocations. There's something big in here. I think. Come on up, punk. Okay. Achieved remarkable synchronicity. Mm -hmm. Let's try for the same result with our next attack. All right, we just need the uh, Rangers tights. I'll go and open the they definitely got something big in here. Probably a Cyclops or a Ogre. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. We're we we're all right. Let him carry something. Well, now I'm concerned about is like if I do that, and he'll um, we may end up losing it, losing the stuff. So. I don't think so. I ain't wearing that. Let's see. Absolutely not. Yeah, that cake that cake factory is closed. Yeah, human just dropped your ass too, bitch. You lucky schmuck. You, he had a platform below him. Oh, uh-uh. You not learn what your friend just did? It's not smart. Well, at least the fall killed him. Crap. Sorry, this is me you're dealing with, bitch. Perhaps that'll take more out of me than I would have liked. 
What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances. Problem is, we ain't got no we depth. This area is like a maze. Welcome in, uh, welcome in, Jeff. If tis as broken as it seems, then I'm afraid we've no recourse but to find another way around. I'm not altogether happy with this. I'm not happy with being here, I mean, because we're like struggling here. I right, better get. I don't think so. We gotta find the staff, though. I mean, I want to at least find that. I can come back and explore more of this place later. Because right now, I mean, we are kind of struggling here. They're not that bad because their health isn't high enough. Isn't that high? Danger might lurk anywhere. Wear every shadow and mind the ceiling. Oh. We're gonna use this tactic on us, right? Good luck with that. Moron! Yeah, um... Thanks for the help, bitch. you want to throw that rock like he's the one that freaking you know he sent the boulder flying down at them he destroyed his own people i don't know what happened there but okay music's still playing there's another one here Let's just process that hobgoblin, smack the boulder, and end up killing like you know, half his people or whatever, and I just whooped his ass afterwards. Okay, we gotta find the staff. I'm not I don't wanna end the stream until we find it. I just wish I had like money for some pizza though, for sure. That sounds like really nice to close like, you know, following the stream. I don't know if this is my work or not. Did I do that? So there's like a maze. All right, hold on. So it looks like we mapped out a good bit of it. So it's going just can't like you know. So we might actually be able to explore all this, but I still it still doesn't uh, take away the fact I heard something big down here. So we need to be careful. I think they might have a cyclops or an ogre. Okay, we can't go in there. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Friends, I'm starting to get encumbered. Actually, I am encumbered. Are they stuck? I certainly hope not. Yeah, we didn't go and explore down this way. At least it seems like there may be ways to get up. There. Well, I don't know. I might have made a, made a mistake in destroying the bridges. Tis broken. Yep. There is still a way forward here. Well, I mean, that's not the way for you. I mean, it's, that's the way down. She commented on the bridge, and there not being a bridge, she fell off. generally used as a material I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time can we climb it still you can climb it still that's nice uh, lucky it's a nice little touch you actually can climb the bridge when it's broken we could obtain some rare materials here some gold some gold some silver well spotted shall we see what we can find we already did i 
Okay, we're gonna head on back over this way. I've never had shawarma myself. I didn't actually know about it until the Avengers movie, so the first Avengers, so. All right, so once we find this art staff, I can just warp back to town. At least we got plenty of, like, ore and everything. I do want to, like, you know, get Lawrence back in the party. That looks important. I bet you that's the other one. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves. Here. Yeah, we've already killed most of them, at least. Eyes peeled. Open in this garden. It's got thin... I'm Caught you sleeping. Oh, you dumbass. <laughs> Don't you feel like shit now. I stabbed him in his sleep. Someone was la was slacking on the job. <laughs> Ring of cooling. That's not what we needed, though. Slate colored horn. Darn. Like, bro was literally just like sleeping on the job right there. And I like how the combat music played when he didn't even wake up. Okay, let's check over here. I'm coming back up there. Just give me a second. Methinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Hey, buddy. Um, you forget. Don't even think about it. So here's the issue. I'm not seeing any um. I'm trying to look, look around the map, trying to see if I can find what like what else we can um. I'm filling out the map at least. Good news that we, we explored most of the tunnel. Why would she want us to move this boulder? Because I didn't sure I don't want to do that. It's gonna be bad for me. But well. Pick up every little thing you find. And your pack will soon you. Hope you're proud of yourself, Fiona. That. Seem to resist. Ah yes. That sounds familiar. What does that mean? Like, you know, getting dropped in my face? Okay, at least we got to uh... See, that's the thing. Did... Did she pick up one of the... Hold up. Make sure one of them didn't pick up a key. So here's the problem we got. I have a feel. Every time is that one boulder that's rolling over here. So the issue we have here. Okay. That's the way back out, of course. We've explored everywhere in this dungeon, in this area, except for that. And I don't know if there's a way for us to get inside this door. The only other thing I can think is like the keys nearby. So I'm feeling that's the only that's the only other place we can go. So I feel like either like it's on the corpse, like one of the enemies that we killed, or there's something missing here. Because this is the only other way we can go, but the door's locked. They said something about, like, you know, locked doors. This is the only other way we can go. Um. Open a locked door. Hang on. 
Because yeah, if it's a key or mech, so I'm, I'm hoping it's not that we're here at the wrong time of day. Uh, that's what concerns me. There's some kind of requisite unlocking this door. So this is frustrating because for all, I mean, there's nothing here telling me exactly how we can get in there, and I haven't really seen anything that's kind of given us any kind of idea. Unless it has, is this has something to do with this thing right here? I doubt it, but. I know that had nothing to do with it. So the way it looks. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? And my, uh, they gave me that whole thing saying that, you know, it's based around like, um. And the way they were trying to talk right there. Um, it may not be something I can unlock, like, you know, to, like a key or a mechanism. Because that's what they're trying to say right there, so we may have to come back. I mean, I'm probably going to play some more of this tomorrow, maybe, I don't know. I'm probably, like, maybe take a break from it for tomorrow and just, like, do my uh, Eternal Darkness stream, finish that up, and get back this Monday. But at the very least, we're going to go ahead and get back to town, because we do have a um, fairy stone, I believe. Or a couple fairy stones. So we're going to head on back. Huh? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way? Don't tell me it took the fairy stone. All right. So they go to a whole ass animation showing it not working in this at this time. Like I remember, you couldn't like use them indoors away. Right? I forgot about that. But they went to a whole animation of it just not working, just like plump, like like plopping on the ground. Oh, god dang it. How in the hell did this happen, show? Get up. How did you manage that? There's no enemies around. Would you trip? You're good, just Fiona. I'm um, coming through. Of arrows. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Yeah, it's just we cleared out this whole area, but we've yet to see any kind like there's nothing in here in regards to like the only other area we can go to, which I'm pretty sure that's where the Archstave is. Which frustrates me because that's like for the class I want to get Fiona. So she falls. So I'll send us another treasure chest over here. So I'm hoping that maybe we get this one. I keep wishing maybe there will be a key in one of them. Hang in there, master. I am coming to assist. It's okay. I'm fine. You figure like the treasure chest icon would have disappeared off the map now that I've grabbed it. Look here. This path seems rather promising. For something we already did. I wonder if like the whole mechanic of them rotting is like you know gonna play in like play into somehow. I know like in Bitter Black Isle when you killed enemies they would like leave like a they would leave like a mass of flesh on the ground that would like attract like you know carrying eating, eating enemies or also the Grim Reaper. Yeah, they're definitely their own worst enemy. It also doesn't help their health is, like, really low and everything. And we lost, like, one of our party members earlier, which we can easily get him back. We lost our public domain Kratos. Okay, we might as well go and just head on out. 
and warp back to town. There's always that one boulder that's rolling down here for some reason. Every time I come back to that boulder, it's like rolling down the hill. I mean, at the very least, we found a great sword, so we got one vocation unlocked. But I definitely, I need the art stay because I want to give Fiona the sorceress uh, status or a sorceress vo vocation. I just don't understand like what, what the requisite is. They didn't really give me an idea. The flicker of a shadow, the gleam of an eye, the echo of a footfall. If we hone our senses, no foe shall. Yeah, definitely. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Out of the cave at last. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. It wasn't that bad. I do love all the love all the banter between the pawns, though. I absolutely just adore that. It's previously they would just talk to you and they're not really like banter among each other, but at least they have like much more personality here. Is this guy a friend or foe? Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and warp on back. Um, deposit what I've got. And I guess go ahead and drop the great sword off. Okay, at least all right there, now it's actually working. That went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. Weary at this hour, sir. You must have quite a tale to tell. All right, deposit. We're going to deposit all of our materials. Yeah. I just hope it works like it did in the first game, where you can deposit it in, and then like you know, it'll basically take it from like your, take it from your storage, like when you go to a, um, an area in town. So I'll get like some money from that too. Well, that explains something in commerce right there. This thing's like, you know, four kilos. Those things can just go. Because Fiona can't use them. I don't think I put them, and I'd have some respect for her and not put them on her anyway. Smoke big and then misses Sin Tyson Harvey's win. Lit in certain locations, any Harvey's within range will flock near. I don't know why I would want that. Like I said, it's that thing right there that's like, you know, definitely kind of like weighing me down. I'm not putting that thing back on ever again. That's going in the storage. I'm going to sell it or something. Just damage taken from firing attack, fire attacks. That would be nice to have. At least the rings don't weigh that much. So it's negligible on that. All right, let's look at Fiona, what she's got going on. For, um... Shit. Darn. Just trying to figure out why she's so encumbered. She doesn't she doesn't have a whole lot on her. I, mean, I know like that's of course like you know definitely weighing her down, but I know it's like it's because like how you know tiny she is, but I'm probably, I may actually just change my character up to, you know, tonight after the stream, not since I got, like, the one thing we needed for that, too. We're about to go and probably do that in a minute. Um, I may I just got to, like, do some organizing on my storage. And sell some stuff and everything. Well met. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. Yeah, so it's up there. I swear I think we climbed that ladder before. All right, let's head down. Damn it. We we're just there. All right, let's get Lawrence back in the party first. I like Lawrence.
That's a lot of pawns. All right, where's Lawrence? I want Lawrence back. Yeah, I want Lawrence back. He's level 15 now. I like Lawrence. We're bringing Lawrence back in. Because it's just such an awesome adventure. Where, where, where you at, buddy? Come on, Lawrence. Where you at? Um. Wow. You changed. Okay, Lawrence. Um, oh, he's a sorcerer now. She changed his vocation. Never did I dream you would grow so mighty, Arisen. You're a sight to behold. He remembers me. I like that. Yeah, I'm bringing him back. I don't care. Madison did a good job on his pawn. I want uh, you know. Yeah, I'm bringing him back. Man, in my favorites too. What marvelous ill fortune that I should suffer you twice. <laughs> I missed you so much, dude. <laughs> well, she's been feeding him a little bit. Rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share it. Tis said there is an illness pawns can contract beyond the rift. That inflicts unspeakable. Go on, have a look. I have just enough for it. Many thanks. He's hilarious, though. He's like, <laughs> just a sass. You can tell it's like it's just in such you know good taste. All right, so we got the great sword. Well, I'll be. Is that one of my wares I spy on you? Maybe he'll actually get some insight on the other one. Good on you, sir. I expect these goblins are feeling mighty sore right now. Have you been to see Klaus yet? You'll be able to have him change your vocation. I appreciate you stopping by, but a lone weapon won't save my business. Tis yours. Take it to Klaus with my blessing. Go on, off with you. Well, I mean, I'm at least, you know, give you some more stuff. Those have got to go. If I was a, if I was a girl, if my if my pawn was a, was a female, maybe I'd use them, but no. All right, did Fiona pick up anything worth selling? I can sell our pilgrim's tights. Okay, I'm still a bit encumbered. It's because of the sword. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep under. Welcome to Bjorn's. And quality is what you need if you want to survive. I got 13,000. Um, I definitely need to save some money. So you check the price, do something for Fiona. To see you again. Okay. Um, so we need to head back to the uh, Pawns Guild. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. We'll get it, Lawrence. Chill out. We just gotta find, um... Shoot. I mean, we definitely need some rest. So this area is definitely, you know, definitely like a maze. We're trying to just find, like, you know, the actual pawn guild. I thought he said this bulge is ill. I was like, wait, what? Oh, 
Oh, what does this say? Shall we take a closer look? Okay, we just gotta find this, um... Because not in the tavern. So once I kind of like really get my bearings about this area, you know, we'll be better off. Yeah, we're in a hurry, lady. Deal with it. I just gotta find like this, uh. Oops. Who is this guy? Oh, what the hell? That's it. I've had enough. Clear off. And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly. But I've got the coin. I swear it. I simply just. Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin. All of it. Or I'll call the sentinels on you again. Are we clear? It is uncommon for a lad of his age to be unable. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Mel? Dad, I was. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some. Fool's errand or other, for all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Oh, okay, that works. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? So I did get. Did, didn't I say like I wanted a, an Arisen's discount before? Can I? What's your deal? Oh, tis you. You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness, but I've a small favor to ask of you. You want money. Would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. <sighs> a trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of exceptional craftsmanship. What the hell is that face that Fiona's making over there? Fiona looks like, you know, like <laughs> she, she seems like, what is Fiona's face for? Alas, it would seem I do not have the coin on hand to purchase it. I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, the box might be gone. I get it. If you'd be kind enough to lend me the amount I need, I would repay every last coin. As long as this box doesn't get you in trouble, I don't care about being repaid. Yes. Is there aught I can do for Here. You? Are you sure? Oh, many thanks. I shall repay you anon. You've my word. I have found this guy. He, he looks like he might be a swindler, but we'll see. That's the thing. I helped out Madeline, or whatever her name was. Magdalene in the first... I can't remember her name, but she was in the first game. And, you know, she wanted, like, money several times. It seemed like she was actually swindling me, but then she actually did set up her shop. And I think she did pay me back in the end. Or base. I can't remember what it was, but she did uh, help me in the end. Let's see how this goes. Not you again. I thought I made myself quite clear. Ah, but I've brought the gold this time. I assume that changes things. Oh, well, I. If you've got the gold, <laughs> then you're welcome to spend it. This is the one you've been eyeing, isn't it? Oh, Come on, then. Take it. Oh, you notice how his whole demeanor changed. My thanks. I finally have what I came for, and worry not, you'll have your coin back in good time, I promise you. I please do not let me regret this. He seems a young man of decent character. I believe his promise to repay you was a genuine one. Don't jinx it, Fiona. What is wrong with your face? What? Apparently she didn't like... Does she not like the rain or something?
I'm trying to find like the um See because obviously this This and the uh actual pawn guild or whatever two different things There's a ladder here we ought to put it to good use. Check this. Oh hell no! Is that a freaking fortune teller? Greetings. You seek guidance, do you not? Oh, you can work romance her too. Your path, but I can point the way. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I'll hear you. Seen your path. May these words guide you true. Consider that path with a cautious eye and open mind. Let the light of revelation forsake thee. You've my gratitude. Well, I don't know if you got mine or whatever. That was vague as hell. To see you. At least this fortune teller was wasn't uh, name wasn't Agatha. For those who watch like my uh, stream for reveal, you know, like the joke there. Hang on, what's down here? Oh, here it is. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? I've got one. Ah, I see you have a great sword with you, a fine weapon. You may now change your vocation to warrior, if you wish. Yeah. If you would prefer to register a sorcerer, you will need to acquire an archer star. We're working on that. That's the only problem. I got to figure out how we actually got to get it. Cause I think I'm pretty sure I know where it is, but it's a particular requisite, I guess, like for us to actually be able to unlock that spot. You know, unlock the um. That's the according to God, you'll need to procure your own weapon. All right, yeah, we need still need the art staff. But yeah, um. All right, in a few days we can get our payment back from uh. Then we'll see. So yeah, um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to probably go ahead and call it here. Um, next time I stream, I'm, I'm probably going to go ahead and try to use that one thing to see if I can go ahead and like, change this guy up a little bit. So he's going to like more likely look different on the next stream. I'm going to change up his hair some if I can. If like, Because that's the thing. I got like the more automatic Morphosis. I'm assuming it should only let me like change whatever. Um, we're gonna, we'll see. I mean, I know they had like the salon. I can change like the hairstyles and everything, but I don't know if the art of metamorphosis will let me change everything else. I'm assuming it just will open up my character creation thing again. But at the very least, I'm hoping it might actually let me change his face up. And I can like, you know, just wait until because uh, I do have think have enough money to change his hairstyle. That's mainly what I want to do. But um I mean what I might actually do is maybe go and try to uh, change his hairstyle first, because at least I know I'll be able to change the hairstyle like, you know, many times, like as many times as I want to. But I also might just look up and see exactly what I, I can change with the art of metamorphosis. So I'll know if I can change the hairstyle there, so I know I won't be wasting my time and money, you know, going change, you know, and changing the hairstyle, so that I can just get all done and you know, in that area. So I'm gonna be working on that during, uh, like, after I yeah, probably like as soon as I finish the stream, um, so that way I can have all that ready next to my stream, which I won't be pl playing any more of this today, more than likely. Um, it's Sunday, um, so that's like eternal. Like, so I'll be like hopefully finished up Eternal Darkness tonight, or at least trying to put a good dent in that. Um, should be able to finish up Eternal Darkness between like the next stream today, or um, on Wednesday. Oh, you know when I play it next time. Also, you know, like I said, it's gonna be today. We'll be playing then Wednesday, but we'll see. Um, but I know like without a doubt, I'll be playing more of this tomorrow. Um, one key reason why I'm not gonna be playing it, you know, this and Eternal Darkness today, is because um, you know, all of last week I was like you know like you know changing up my schedule at the gym and everything. And I was going in late at night to try to like you know um, film my progress and everything with, with the new um, stream with the new um, workout routine, and so um, I definitely want to make sure I don't overdo it because that did take a lot out of me in regards to like you know doing like just one stream and then going out afterwards like late at night going to the gym and everything. So I want to make sure I start trying to do things at a better pace. So for today, uh, I'm definitely gonna like do Eternal Darkness, and then um, instead of me like you know doing like you know another stream for like Dragon's Dogma you know tonight. Um, cause again, it's 1 a.m. at 1, 1 a.m. Instead of me doing like another stream for Dragon's Dogma tonight or whatever, I'd like to be able to just kind of like, you know, use that time to get like, basically let's try to get as much rest as possible. So I can like properly, you know, go to the gym and do like the normal schedule I want to do is like sometime in the actual morning around six or seven or somewhere along there. Cause now that I've done like all the little filming stuff, you know, I was doing like, you know, show everyone else my progress and everything. And just kind of like give myself like a little reference point, like for everything I'm doing currently with my new workout plan. Now I can basically go into the gym whenever I want, but I'm trying to like, you know, set up a proper schedule for it. So it's not to say I won't be doing like two streams of this at times, like during the week if I can, because I know this is gonna be a long game. 
and it's definitely like starting to open up and be more fun i mean yeah there was definitely some more frustrating bits today but at least the goblins aren't much of a problem as much as they were it's just now the saurians have been a bit of a bitch um but at least we finally you know killed like not one but two cyclops took down our first ogre in the first battle with one you know at least i'm getting you know my character's getting you know beefier but i feel like things are going to be a lot more open up when i do get that staff um location we just got to get to one where we can use it don't know when that's going to be but at the very least, we're getting close to being able to get, like, the actual vocation I want to use for Fiona, which is the sorcerer one. But we just got to figure out how to open up this door, like, you know, in the mines. But anyways, that being said, Rose, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I want to say thank you to those who came out and hung out with me tonight. Much love to you all. I'll see you guys next stream later on today for Eternal Darkness. But until then, you guys be safe, and I'll catch you later. Thanks so much for watching my stream. If you like my content and want to see more, be sure to follow me and hit that notification bell. You can also find me on Instagram and join my Gilded server to hang out and join in on occasional movie nights. If you're an aspiring streamer, the website contains a collection of over a dozen completely free text guides with advice to help you get started. The section is dedicated to proper networking, the importance of channel panels, handling dead air, and many other topics. You can find a link to my website on my channel. See you guys next time.